right, folks, this is going to be the team. This is essentially my in-game team plus this shiny Dragapult. And also, got to bring the Homer Simpson, the shiny um, level 1 Slowpoke. Who, it turns out I'm unable to train up because I used all of my EXP candies somehow in the process of uh, grinding up some VGC teams, I guess. But, we'll bring in fucking Paul with us. He will never get used, apparently, because I don't have any candies, but he's going to be here, so... I honestly forgot what my in-game team was from my last playthrough. But these boys be looking kind of nice. Nelson, I definitely did not get this thing myself. Um, <laughs> Dumbo, Barney, and Young Chiding. So let's do it. Apparently supposed to just go into the station. And I don't really know what to expect. I've seen a little bit on Twitter. Uh, in terms of kind of like what the hell happens. Which station do you want to go? Um... I don't think I want to go to any of those stations. Hello? Uh, talk to that guy. This dude? No, this dude just staring off into the distance. Hello? That's an armor pass. With that pass, you can go to the Isle of Armor. Where would you like to go today? Why the hell wouldn't it be on the fucking list of places to go? Uh, armor station, boys. Let's go to the station of armor. Ooh, ooh we hopping on a train? Let me know how the game audio is, if it's even... Can you even hear it? I have no idea, because I can't really hear it on my end until unless I make it louder, but I don't want to be too loud. Uh, it, ooh, ooh. Oh, you weren't playing on your monitor. Let's go. Pretty quiet. All right, so we can, we can afford... We can get her a little... All right. I have not touched this game, other than playing, like, the occasional <laughs> VGC battles. So this is gonna be it's gonna be like a whole new ass game for me. I, I literally stopped playing after like the week I finished my a week after I finished my playthrough and then just immediately just would just turn the game on and immediately go into the the Wi-Fi battleship. I'll update your Pokedex. Nice. I'm I'm interested to see all the new Pokemon that come. I've done pretty good at avoiding the spoilers. I do know that there's a section like your Pokemon can follow you, because I've seen all the all the shit about that. How do you feel about the new Pokemon Snap announcement? I am stoked about that. I I had pretty low hopes after seeing the first thing that they, they showed. I was like, I was like, uh, what the fuck is this? But then they just, then they just dropped a bombshell on a Pokemon Snap. I'm so stoked about that. People have been, it's almost be, it was almost a freaking meme at this point. People wanting Pokemon Snap. And they, the crazy bastards did it. Ooh, hello? You there. Right on time, too. You're pretty punctual for a kid. They met before or something? Pretty punctual. Mm -hmm. So this is the lady with, like, the dust docks looking bow on her head, right? Is there... I don't... I don't think there's, um... There's not even a new dust docks form, is there? This lady just be... Just be flexing the dust docks thing without even... What the fuck? Been waiting for 20 damn years for Pokemon Snap? Seriously, though. What's going on? Am I being mocked by a kid? But I'm the colorful, caring, and charismatic... Clara, Clara. I'd smash. <laughs> She's new wife. He'll never know what hit him. What? Shout out to the hype train. Thank you guys for completing the level one hype train. All right. Who's ready for the Gen 4 remake announcement next week? I don't know about that. Don't know about that. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. First thing we see, bunch of pods. Fucking love it. Sucking on my titties like you wanted me, calling me all the time. <laughs> Meowstick, thank you for the 69 bits. Hee hee, I bet this is your first time on the Isle of Armor. I bet you can't wait to start exploring, but first things first, we need to make sure you're ready. Since I've already been at the Master Dojo for a little while now. I'll be the one testing you out. Go easy on me, okay? Oh, shit, okay. She's just gonna... She's trying to throw hands right away. Alright. Alright. Let's see what she's got. A Venipede, huh? Really? What? They're like, yeah, listen, I know you finished this game like three months ago and probably have only level 100s, but check out this Venipede. Knock me flat, huh? Okay, it's level 58, so actually it's kind of scary. And let's see if Nelson's old Nelson still got it. Test me out, lady. <laughs> Why would it be a fucking Skullipede? What? Sometimes, man, sometimes I just don't get it. Slowpoke goes to level 11. Nice. Learned acid, which is not not good for such a long, young lad. Next is hey, she's got a slow poke. You talking fucking diggersby though? I think we I think 
we're talking Diggersby though. There's only four new pokes in this, yeah. Slowpoke is one of them, and then there's that Fighty Boy. Um, what the hell what are the other ones? There's like the two evolutions of the fight, fighting thing. DLC level scales to wherever you're at in the main story since you finished everything will be around level 60. So that's cool. It would actually be kind of sweet if they made it so if your in-game team was level 100, everybody battled you with level 100s. That would make things interesting, huh? Try to learn confusion all, on all Slowpoke. Ain't no time for tackle. So Slowpoke being pure psychic type is interesting. What a genius Slowpoke design idea. I've seen what the slow bro looks like. I haven't seen what the shiny slow bro looks like, so I'm excited to see when mine evolves. Huh? No, no, no. Must be some mistake. Damn, she fucking looks scary as hell. Not good, not good at all, man. How'd this kid get so strong? This kid, this kid, this kid joins the dojo. Nobody's gonna pay attention to my strength. Well, I mean, la lady, listen. You have a level 60 Venipede. What are you doing? That wasn't bad. I mean, it's not like I was going all out. Not at all, but still. Sure. Sure. Given the famous, famous champion Leon trained in our place. No offense, but maybe, just maybe, you're not quite enough to make it. So how about this? Why not enjoy the sights, but stay away from the Master Dojo over there. Stay away from it? Well, guess where we're going right away. Can I have my Pokemon follow me yet? We get a souvenir, and it's a style card. What is that? A card that increases the selection in boutiques and hair salons. <laughs> oh, shit. We get some new stuff, which I desperately need. My guy is looking a little outdated. Um... Oh boy, I could use a makeover. Dun, 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 dun. No mistake, you had two Pokemon, neither fully evolved, level 60. What? Alright, so we got just some Buneries. Oh my Jesus, there's a big ass Wailord already. Also, there's a Toxapex just chilling. And look at these slow pokes. Fucking Kingler on the boat. This is nice. On the on the <laughs> on the beach. I was thinking about boats. Um Nice. Do I even remember? Okay, I was gonna say, do I remember how to get on the damn bicycle? Barely. Oh shit, it's stormy out here. What the hell just happened, man? Star piece. On the boat. Hello? H hello? A bottle of calcium. I wanna. Oh, what the fuck is that? Hello? Oh my god. <laughs> is that a Gyarados? Okay, it's gone. Crisis averted, boys. Crisis averted. They finally made Waylord large. Okay, we're just gonna run into this. Hello? Oh, it's a Sharpedo. It's Jaws! Nice. So, Sharpedo is back. And better than ever, boys. That's nice. Love to see it. Love to see it. Level 60 Sharpedo. I'm just gonna kill you. Why not? Why not? Waylord is absolutely massive. Look at the liquidation, which will definitely hurt. Damn, Nelson. You ain't thick enough. Pwn flashbacks. 50% shark. Best nickname of all time. Alright, we, we definitely just need to get Slowpoke some levels. Uh, disable? No thanks. I think it's going to take us forever to get this Slowpoke usable. Uh, but he's going to come with us since I don't have a, a, a single a single fucking ex EXP candy. I swear to god I saved up for the entire time in my game and then I used them all on like one team. And now they're just gone. Look at this lad. I love him. So if you just run into him, it's just like normal, huh? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna hit him from the, <laughs> we're gonna run into him from the back. Absolute unit. Everyone I've seen goes straight for the Wailord. <laughs> I mean, you got it, man. You got it. Yep. No candies. All right. Don't touch. Don't touch his butt. Did he run from him? Is he still there? Nope. He just. Oh boy, he's just gone. All right. So. <laughs> That's some ocean stuff. We know there's just Sharpedos and Waylords out here. What the fuck was that? I don't even know what that was. Sam's back there munching on chips because she'd be out here eating totally every time. Every time. <laughs> it's gotta be like the fourth time in a video. I'm just kidding. I had Chipotle as well. We're a pot. We're what we like to call a potlay couple. Sucking all my titties like you want. Umbra, thank you, you for the bits. All the time. Bits are candies, right? Pretty much. Oh my god, yes. It's Starmie, boys. Yes. Good to see Starmie back. I just like admiring the animations. Starmie looking pretty cool, buddy. Pretty cool. Alright. So, we got the dojo over here. And, um... Can I have that fighting thing? Ooh, Jigglypuff! So Jigglypuff is back. There is an item over this way. I've been playing so much Platinum that I'm trying to press B and run. But you don't do that anymore. It's not a thing. 
Now this is Patrick. Not the classic crab. We get a sunstone. Neat. The jiggly just floating around. Get out of there. Alright, so rather than playing on my monitor, I'm actually just playing on my on my OBS. Which just feels weird. Oh. D? D? It's a freaking diglet head! The other DLC have the Reggies and Birds? Oh, so we don't get those now? What the fuck? I was excited. Alright, Diglett, you're here. Okay, neat. You little rascal, I was worried about you. Thank you for finding my Diglett. So it's interesting they get they bring in Alolan form. Uh, is it from Alola? Didn't expect to meet someone who knows about it. That's right, Diglett from the Alola region. When I traveled to Alola, I fell in love with these adorable three hairs. <laughs> Got a lot of Diglett there. Uh, they some hair, some went somewhere. I looked for us. Okay, looked away for a second, and all your fucking diglets are gone. What the hell? Find a diglet buried in the ground. You definitely have a talent for finding diglet. I mean, it was right in front of the bridge. You did find the other diglet too. Sure. What kind of person you are? Words can't express how grateful I am. Found one one diglet so far. One hundred and fifty more. It's one hundred and fifty-one diglets. What the fuck? This man just cannot keep track of his diglets. Goddamn. Well, I'm gonna definitely not do that side quest. But, uh, that's a thing. That sounds entirely too tedious. They're like, hey, listen, there's not a lot of content here, so just run around and click on Diglets, bro. <laughs> what do we have? What do we have here? <clears throat> How does he manage 150 Diglets? I don't know, man. Oh, fiddlesticks! Who do we have here? So our new student decided to go back home. Hey, Glad Almond Zant, with, you, with the three months. Thank I you very much, appreciate you. I from Spain, and stay safe, mate. Suddenly Thanks left for after doing what you do. I appreciate it so much. Hey, I appreciate you, friend. Thank you for subscribing. Well, hello. And who are you, love? Huh? Okay. Must be the new... This man is hacking. He can only carry six Pokemon. He do be hacking. Um, sure. I'm joining the dojo for sure. I must have changed his mind about joining the dojo. Here you are. I'm so happy. She, this lady literally told me not to come here. Everything's just coming up roses. Now, oh my god, these UK people. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? But then I realized that I don't... <laughs> There's a lot of things people say in this game that I have no idea. I'm quite sure they already told me your name, but that's right. You're Hayden. Of course you are. Hey, man. Hey. Thick, thick as can be. Hey, look at I read that one correctly. I was like, thick as, thick as can be? The Kazgum? <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub. I'm rather sure that's not the name I was told before. Just came back from a cupcake and they're gonna hit you with another... With another chick? <laughs> my name's Honey. I keep this place running. You can consider me the lady of the house, not the master uh, dojo. It's just any old house. You don't say. Why? How? What does he think he's doing? Showing up like that. This lady's mean. I don't like this lady. This ain't good. This Honey will know that I lied. Seems you already met our Calera. Bit of an odd ducklet. Ha! He's training hard here at the dojo so he can become a gym leader someday. Can trust the two of you to go along, right? I'm um, sure. We'll absolutely be best friends. What are the new clothes we can get and when can I get them? I want to go shopping. Listen, you, if you dare tell Mrs. Honey about what happened at the station, I'll melt you down to size. You understand? Jesus. My god. Okay. Look who it is! It's little cut. Is it Cub Foo? Cub friend, will you be uploading this to YouTube? I do believe so. So say hello to the YouTube world. Okay, should I just head in? Are these punching bags? Why are they so high up there? Are those just like lamps, lanterns? What do we have here? Got an expert belt. Nice. Was an expert belt? Have they brought? What items have they brought back? Does anybody know? Was an expert belt already a usable item? To be honest, I don't remember. I have to go back to the mainland to buy clothes? Shit. Alright. What do we have going on here? I remember seeing this guy from the trailers. Okay. Everybody have an announcement to make? We've got a new student joining us today. Please welcome Hayden. I'm sure you all have lots to teach him. Look at this Scraggy and the Polyrath. Sick. All of our students are so good and hardworking. Everyone really gives it their all around here. Does anybody know the exact number of new Pokemon that are added? Hello, sweetie pie. It's not usual. You should bother greeting a newcomer. This is Hyde, my darling only son. Guy looks like a fucking loser. <laughs> this man is in a pink sweater. Got an EXP charm. Ooh, there's something. Okay, a charm that increases the EXP points that Pokemon can get. A machine like object inside the charm. 
Ah, don't open it. Uh, it's got tech developed inside. I developed inside, and I don't want you to get come and ruin it. He's so good with his hands, always making something new. Such a clever boy. And that handsome gent in the back is my darling hubby and the very master of the master dojo. You just be staring at the wall. This man does not care. He do be dripping though. This guy's got some, got a nice fit. Oh, hello there. My name is Mustard. I forget this guy's name is Mustard. What the fuck? <laughs> Meowstic, thank you for the 169. <laughs> yeah. So if you're, if you're seeing that alert and you're wondering what the hell is that, that is a that is a sound clip that we took from one of my early Emerald Randomizer episodes. I tried to catch a Kangaskhan and I couldn't, and for somehow I made that sound, which I can't do anymore. <laughs> nice to meet you. Such a polite student. You seem to be the hard-working type. Oh, you know it. Age distance? Difference? <laughs> the age distance? Yeah, for real. What, what the fuck's up with that? Don't let him fool you into thinking he's just a silly old man. He's a real beast when he gets serious. A real beast, huh? Well, darling, I'll leave the rest up to you. Maybe he's not that. Maybe he just looks real old. You know? This is my favorite part. I want to see how good you are. Why not have a battle with little old me? Just say the word when you're ready. All right. Honey and mustard. Honey mustard. Good dipping sauce, I guess. Pretty subpar dipping sauce. Okay. Uh, all right. So we have freaking Nelson in front, and we're not. We're gonna. We're gonna put. Shiny Dragapult going going in front. Oh, are you ready for a battle? Um, yes. I guess? I don't know what this guy's gonna have. He's definitely gonna have that new Pokemon, though. Alright, let's get the show started. This is the best way to get the note and get to know the new students. What do you think about all the Pokemon news, Lebronto? I think it's exciting. I'm mostly... All I care about is Pokemon Snap. You know, like any human being. Like the, They're always releasing, like, random games, like the... Pokemon Smile and Pokemon Sleep and just a bunch of weird shit, but I was super stoked to see the, um, see the snap announcement. See, we found a boss. Is there other kid? What? Alright. Um, why is it a Mian Fu? It's also good to see this thing back, though. Mian Shab about to be tearing shit up on Wi-Fi battles now. Absolutely love to see that. The nostalgia with Pokemon Snap is so exciting. Mostly just because that was like the first time you ever got to like experience Pokemon in like their actual habitats and I always just thought that that was so cool as a kid. I'm like, oh my god, this is, this is it. Alright, we're trying to learn the water pulse. So oh, we're just going to get rid of growl. Now there's a digging path on the aisle. Is there a dig digging mat? What? what the fuck are you talking about? Hello? Digging path? <laughs> Sam said, ignore it. Okay, Shinx is next. Interesting. Let's go into Young Dumbo. Choice ban, reckless high jump, kick me in, Chow, though. Oh, shit. EXP charm plus chancy. It's for young experience for the win. I do need to grind up my freaking slowpoke, man. It's like my little old self's been cornered. You sure have, buddy. That is called switching out. Why do you just have a Shinx? What could possibly have been the reasoning for not giving them evolved Pokemon? I just don't get it. Katsunel is here. Hello. Oh my god. Okay, we get paired. Digging dad and the father of the digging duo on the mainland. Okay. Okay. Interest. Come on, Dumbo. What the fuck? This little shinx is going to destroy my mass massive <laughs> elephant. No wonder the island was hidden until now. These guys were too weak. Yeah, seriously. The hell, man. A little bit of background scenery would be nice. Not to, like, nitpick, but, like, how are they just gonna give us a white room to battle in? I hope for one day be able to see an actual environment. <laughs> Alright. I lost. You're pretty strong, aren't you? You can come here if they have the pass as soon as you get to the first towns. Yeah, I mean, that'd be the way to do it, is just come here, like, start a new game and then come here instantly. So that's, I guess, why they have to have them as unevolved, but... Who's that kid, anyway? It's your boy. Well, your battle really shows me how much you care about your Pokemon. Hey! Just got back Fantastical work, fish just with the resub. Thank you streaming. very much. I'm glad you could stop by as well. Shinx is dark electric now? No. I think we can all help each other become stronger. I'm happy you've come to join us. So on that note, here's your dojo uniform. Oh shit, we get a uniform. Also, Jack Roll. 
with the three months. Thank you, Jack. Appreciate you. Look at Jack roll and the Slowpoke's rolling. Do you know how to evolve Slowpoke? I can tell you if you want to know. Um, I mean, I don't know if I'll just like figure it out, but will I figure it out by myself? Hey, newbie, if you want to change or just take a break, use that room over there. Okay. Honestly, the worst days of my life are when I have to sit at work on a computer for an entire day when a new Pokemon things come out. Man, I could just be at home probably making more money <laughs> fucking making a YouTube video on it. I'll, I'll let's play Pokemon Smile for sure. My teeth better, my shiny teeth and me. Chip Skylark better make his next single. Because of how hard I'm about to go on Pokemon Smile. I honestly didn't even really watch that part. What 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 was it? The kids can catch Pokemon while they brush their teeth? I don't really get it. Haven't given me my uniform yet. This lady is jealous as hell. Why does that kid get a uniform but not me? It's not fair. Oh dear, do you really have a uniform? Not really not having you? Okay, homeboy, homegirl doesn't have a uniform. Really easy to fix that. I have another uniform right here for you. She's gonna hit us with the hee hee. Alright, Michael. What the fuck was that? Is it bad that I'm already done? How long does how long has it taken you guys to complete the DLC? Poe. What's up, Poe? Oh shit, the gang is all here. <laughs> that speed. Was it really these slowpoke? Why are these slowpokes so fast? Hello? I mean mine's modest. Or timid, I mean. Mine, mine's quick. Slow. The boys have arrived. They're like, what are you doing? Hey, get back here. Oops, guess I'm left off the mat of the Pokeballs a little too soon. Let's see what's up with these slowpoke. Uh, this is my first trial, my students. Catch the fucking slowpokes? Yeah, you got all, all got to chase after those fast slowpoke trained. Nice. That's not all. You need to defeat them too. While you're at it, you can get Clara's dojo uniform back. They just stole the uni? Alright. Do your best, you lot. Do people say that? Is that a thing? Instead of like you people, like you guys, you lot do you you lot do your best. Two more subs till six sixty nine. <laughs> yes, and we're not allowed anymore. Also, I like how my my hair is different now. Sick. Really like Fucking looking dope. Want to change back in your usual clothes? Um, no. Um, yes. Looks exactly the same. Is it, is it different? <laughs> you lot, it's a British saying. I know, but I just... I'm obviously not British, so I've never heard anybody say that other than in this game. Oh my god, look at how fast those things are! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, Hayden isn't good with words. You mispronounced one word on Twitch one time. Alright. Let's go chase after them boys, shall we? So there's nothing else to do over there to the left, really. What are you doing? You seem to have an awesome bike. Let me customize it if you'd like. Ooh. What? Okay, and then she just doesn't say anything. You want me to customize your bike with the design that I came up with? Absolutely. Which design would you like to? Sparkling white or glistening back? Pokemon black and white remakes confirmed. We're going black. Your bike will shine with a special coating. Hold on a second. Ooh. Ooh, hello? You need a sprinting ball animation, Usain Poe? <laughs> Alright. Ooh. Ooh, I'm glit. Ooh. I'm straight up glistening, boys. My god. Alright, so here we have the soothing wetlands. Looking pretty soothing, if you ask me. Ooh, we got a Scroopy. Well, I honestly don't like riding the bicycle. I like running around. Got a Dreadnought just chilling. This is definitely a new habitat that we haven't seen before, but also there's a Slowpoke right there. We definitely actually need to use the bike, I think, to get to these folks. So. Hey, get over here. He's gonna make an evasive maneuver. Oh, he is. Oh god. I'm like run into Pokemon. How? Jesus Christ, these things are quick. Get over here, buddy. <laughs> I got it. What if one of these was shiny? Soothing West. <laughs> I hope they do remake Black and White before Smelly Sinnoh. Hey, don't you dare call Sinnoh Smelly. We love Sinnoh. Yeah, I, I wonder, this thing has the worst moveset. Astonished you turn Dragon Darts and Bite. I haven't done anything with this Dragapult, clearly. But, uh, um. You do the job on these level 60 ass slowpokes. I should just catch one of these things to use, but these ones aren't shiny, and I have a cool shiny. You mean Mount Cornet Simulator? 
That's pretty much what that game is. Slowpoke's level 21. Trying to learn Headbutt. Hey, no thanks. Do I still have... I think I still even have Tackle. Whatever. Alright. Swallow. Took back Clara's Dojo. Okay, so that's the one that had the jacket. Groovin' Reuben. Four months, Pog. Thank you very much for the four months. Appreciate you, buddy. Alright. Um, so we can go that way, but also let's... I want to do some raids and shit, too. This is exciting. Oh, god damn it, Choodle. I didn't even see you there, buddy. Just straight up ran over this turn. So we got a road kill in the wetlands. I repeat, road kill in the wetlands. I smell so fucking good. What? <laughs> You're talking about the wet. Oh, I'm talking about. Oh, because your name's Raised in Sinnoh. He is Sinnoh. Ooh, look who it is. Absolute legend Talonflame is back, boys. Uh, six. Love to see Talonflame back. That's actually someone had a had an interesting tweet about how they had to bring back certain Pokemon that check Volcarona. <laughs> oh my God, is this thing? Wait, was Lilligan already was Lilligan already here? I don't think so. Are, is all the shit here except for the Galar things? New priority Max Airstream is going to be annoying as shit, but. You know, it's gonna be even more annoying as Volcarona. I only really know that that thing's back because we saw it on like a trailer. Also, Jesus, that thing just gone disappeared. Lantzica with the tier one sub. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. We got a Bufalant right there. Okay. Where the hell did that thing go, man? What is that? Quagsire! Can I get a Quagsire emote in the chat? Swagsire me up, baby. 669. Had to do it. Got the lucky six nine. Thank you for the thank you for the swag stars. Tom Flame still has the same attack as a Moongus Hawkhead. <laughs> this is true. All right, we got a damp rock there. Nice. You know how I like my rocks, moist. Oh, Jesus, bro, they they should have made Galar Slowpoke fast. So they definitely they do like the same route. Got your ass. Fucking high speed collision. <laughs> With young Homer over here. Moist boys. Alright, Poke. Time to catch these darts, buddy. Hi, Sammy, I see you. You always do be in the background eating some Chipotle. You know where to find her. Have you seen the new moves they introduced? I have not. I've, I've like, seen the list of them. I read, a, I read a couple of them. I just didn't really want to pay attention too much. I've literally been at work all day. I watched I watched the, the announcement on my way to work. And uh, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's Scroopy. I thought that was like a head. It was its head, but it, it was turned out. That was its tail. Uh, but yeah, I haven't really been able to spend any time researching anything today. So this is really kind of my first look at everything. What is that over that, that way? Yeah, for a second, I could not tell what the hell that was. What are you doing, buddy? Hey, Crunchy. What are you doing back there? These fast slip pokes prefer wide open spaces. You won't see them going into forests. He's like, okay, if you're looking for pokes, you're not going to find them back this way. Oh, there he is. There's the last one. Hello? Hello? Oh! The fuck? How did I... The hell? Now he's gone. I missed my chance. <laughs> Fuck! Missed his ass again. Ah! Come here, buddy. <laughs> Weak desires. Thank you so much for the two months. <laughs> Dodgy Paul. Still amuses me how fast these slow bucks are. <laughs> Why would they do this? Why would like? They should have made his evolution quick, like a fast, a fast poke. Yeah, like this whole DLC is literally like marketed towards me. They're like, do you like slow poke? <laughs> yes, well then this is the fucking thing for you. For the low price of I don't even remember how much this game was. Was it like 30 bucks for this? Yeah. Poke's running like Bay's home alone. <laughs> Alright, so we got all of them. Um, there's a there's one of those those fishy boys. Also, what's up with this cave? Should I go peep this cave? I can cram it. Should we do it? Yeah, this cave be looking kind of crazy. Hey, look at it. It's freaking lasagna crab. Hey there, buddy. 
Damn it, Joodle. I always be running into the Joodles. These little things are too small. <laughs> Is it 50? So we, I bought both technically. I said I paid 30. I paid $30 just to chase around the slope. I would do it again. I would do it again. Alright, we're gonna do this raid. Fuck you, Lasagna Crab. You killed our baby Pichu. <laughs> it did actually in my last Nuzlocke, goddammit. Alright. What do we have here? A trap inch. Is that a trap inch? Trap inch is back. That's kind of neat. Yeah, that, this looks like an epic ass max thing. I'm not connected to the internet. But hold, on. we're gonna we're gonna go do the freaking returning. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's um, freaking Groudon's little little feller. Right? Glorefish. Crayfish. Trap inch bin back. It has? Oh. It's apparently because I'm not connected to the internet. Did that change the rates that we got? I don't think it does. Well, what the hell? Trap inch has been back in the game since the beginning, but go off. Oh. See, I had no idea because Flygon is just such a shit Pokemon that no one's. <laughs> No one's even used it. It really is though. It just not it does not do anything better than anything else. Nasty plot Alakazam? My god. My knee pads. Homegirl's just always right behind me. Don't you don't tell me you got my uniform back all on your own. Oh I did. All the good bugs are back. Scizor, Heracross, Scolipede, and Pincer. Fuck yeah. I will not take the fly on sledge. I just have a strong dislike for Trap Pinch because in Pokemon Go they made it the research breakthrough reward after they gave it a community day and I had like 45 shinies and I released, I like, I transferred literally like 15 tra shiny Trap Pinches and then I was all excited to try to claim like a new legendary on my research box and they, give, they had the gall to give me a Trap Pinch. All Flygon needed was a Mega. It really did. You were able to catch up to the Slowpoke but I guess you couldn't defeat them. Tell you what, anyone who was able to catch up to a Slowpoke at least once gets a pass. Hey! Trophies for everybody? What the hell? Hayden really outdid himself, so it's only fair everyone else gets another chance. Try to make a comeback, everybody. Clara, you're trash. His wife's name is Honey. Either way, I'm still out. Honey, honey and mustard. No name is as bad as the guy in black and white named Stu Dio. The fucking Pokestar Studio guy. Oh my god, yes, look at the little onion. I need him so bad. <laughs> I love Bulbasaur so much. Okay, where the hell's Charm? Oh, they don't give you Charmander because you already got Charmander. Now. Vine? Why are you saying Vine? These are our sweet little Pokemon, Bulbasaur and Squirtle. Uh, we've all been taking care of them together, and I'd say they're more like a little curious, more than a little curious about your strength as a trainer. Oh shit! Why don't you pick one up for yourself? You did succeed in the trials. Okay, so that's our prize for capturing the Slowpokes. When the, they evolve, they'll be able to Gigantamax. Oh shit! Hello, buddy. Oh my god, look at him smiling. Vig! So you're gonna go with our sweet Bulbasaur. It's first rate with grass type moves. Um, absolutely. And I do wanna use this thing. Yeah, he does look like he does in Pokemon Go. They like changed Bulbasaur's colors too many times, man. Heard there was an art of Erica getting whipped by a Bulbasaur. <laughs> There's a plant seed on its back right from the day this Pokemon is born. The seed slowly grows larger. Nice. Nice. Descriptive Pokedex entries, we're all about that. Bulbasaur looks pleased. Pleased as punch that you chose it. See? What? He's like, you lot look pleased as punch. <laughs> the Gigantamax, once it's fully evolved, be sure to raise it well. Nice. Dynamaxing a mysterious phenomenon unique to the Pokemon of Galar. And this Gigantamaxing of maxing a very special way of Dynamaxing for very special Pokemon. Their moves change, of course, but their appearances change too. I don't remember what the even what what the special things are about the new forms. Uh, I'd love to have a bowl of max soup full of max mushrooms right about now. Ooh, yeah, see, the max soup. That's a, you can make any Pokemon a Gigantamax Pokemon or something, right? That's why our second trial should be mushroom picking. Max mushrooms are the key to Gigantamaxing. Next mushrooms are red with a spiral pattern. I'm pretty sure they grow in the dark human place, human places. And with that, your next trial begins. I'm counting on you. Okay. More trials. Is that all this DLC is? We just do stuff for mustard? <laughs> Don't you worry, Squirtle. I'll be sure to raise you with lots of love. I'll make you oh so strong. I'll never lose to Bulbasaur. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Bulbasaur gonna whip that ass. 
Just honey, if you want that Pokemon to learn new moves, you can leave that to me. You're just the sweetest thing. Okay. Said, Whoever threw that raid closet, your mom's a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Miastic, for the 220 and the raid closet alert. <laughs> Alright. Armorite Ore, he'll teach you, teach your darling new Pokemon a new move. You should give it a try. Obtain five pieces of Armorite Ore. Whip that for alligator ass. <laughs> Alligator really do be double cheeked up. Okay, so we have a Bulbasaur, but he is not with us. And so we will have to retrieve him. Hello, little friend. Alright, we're gonna switch out uh, freaking Dumbo because he paralyzed. Level 5 Bulbasaur. Let's actually take a look at this thing, I guess. See how our little feller's doing. On a Thursday afternoon, the sun is out. Double cheeked up. <laughs> Alright, nice. Hardy nature. Fucking exactly what I wanted. What's up, friend? I'm completely obsessed with moves. Under the supervision of my master, I've been developing new Pokemon moves day and night. I've spent a lot of time developing many moves. I'll teach your Pokemon a move for a small token of gratitude. Shall I teach your Pokemon a move for five? Five for one move? Which Pokemon do you want me to teach? Alright, um, you can do... Wait, okay, Terrain Pulse. Utilizes the power of the terrain to attack. Uses type and power. Changes depending on uh, the terrain that's used. That's actually pretty cool. 50 base power, though, kind of trash. Burning Jealousy. Attacks with energy from Jealousy. This leaves all opposing Pokemon that have had their stats boosted during the turn with a burn. Interesting special fire move. Flip turn. After making its attack, the user rushes back to switch places with the party Pokemon in waiting. So, just a water type U turn? Okay, hold up. That's actually gonna be nice. Rising voltage. Attacks an electric voltage rising from the ground. Moves power doubles when the target is on electric terrain. So, okay, nice 70 power. Love to see it. Electric terrain's gonna be clean with that. Glassy, grassy glide. Gliding on the ground, user attacks its target. Move always goes first on grassy terrain. Okay, priority on grassy terrain. Triple axle. Consecutive three kick attack that becomes more powerful with each successful hit. Interesting. Coaching. Properly coaches its ally Pokemon, boosting their attack and defense stats. Okay, so we haven't had a we haven't had a, a move that boosts its attack and defense, have we? Other than like self cursing. Corrosive grass gas. <laughs> Not grass. Surrounds everything around it with highly acidic acid and melts away items they hold. Ooh. Surrounds everything around it with a, that's actually kinda clean. I like that. Scorching Sands, user throws Scorching Sand at the target to attack. This is the ground type Scald, except it's 70. It's 70 power. Is it, isn't it Scald? Scald's definitely higher than that. Dual Wing Beat. Slams the target with its wings. Target is hit twice in a row, so... Nothing really too crazy about that. Really made a ground type Scald. I like it, though. Expanding Force. Attacks the target with its psychic power. Uh, the move's power goes up and damages all opposing Pokemon on psychic terrain, so... Nice. Skitter Smack. User skitters behind to uh, the target to attack. Also lowers the target special attack. So that's kind of like lunge, right? Meteor beam and two turn attack. User gathers its space, gathers space power and boosts its special attack stat. Uh, and then attacks the target on the next turn. Um, okay, all right. Poltergeist attacks the target by controlling the target's item. Move, move fails if the target doesn't have an item. Ooh. Okay. Scale shot user attacks by shooting scales two to five times in a row. This moves boost this move boosts the user's speed stat, but lowers the defense stat. Interesting. Twinning Pluto with you the three months. Thank you very much, Pluto. Thanks for the years of content Lash out. on this DLC user lashes out right now. to vent its frustration toward the target. Stats were lowered during the turn. Power of this move is doubled. Interesting. Yeah, thank you, Pluto. I appreciate that. I started something as a thanks for the years of content. <laughs> That's awesome. Steel roller. Attacks while destroying the terrain. Uh, the move fails when the ground hasn't turned into a terrain. A lot of, ter lot of terrain based shit, huh? Misty explosion. Uh, attacks everything around it and faints upon using this move. Whose power is increased on misty terrain. So, how much does it increase? Misty explosion? What the fuck? Alright, we're gonna not we're gonna not do any of those for now. But, um, what, what, was I, what was I supposed to do now? Through these doors is the battle court. Sacred ground... Battle. Okay. Entering for any reason other than battle is strictly forbidden. Well, okay. Um, 
Well, hello? Sorry, not sorry, but I haven't accepted you as the hotshot everyone seems to think you are. Hey, listen, I'm just good at chasing down paws. I'm just, I'm just a good paw catcher, all right? I think it's double the Misty Train. Well, that's actually pretty nice then. That explosion about to kill literally everything in Misty Train. My god, oh my god, there's a bug on my monitor too. Hey, Hayden, my bad. Oh, Mustard, hello? It's 3 a.m. here, see you on the next Europe Middle Eastern stream. Thank you for stopping by. Sorry I don't have the most European-friendly um, stream schedule, but I'll try to do some more early ones. Come on, let's go for a walk. I'll show you some mushroom hotspots. This guy's like, you want to trip? You want to trip balls, kid? Come with me. He's like, I've been scavenging these mushroom lands for years. <laughs> oh, my God. Paul just knows his paws. Um, D um, dum, D D. Okay. Can I go into the forest? Now, usually the forest of focus is chock full of max mushrooms, but the thing is, a swarm of greeting came through and ate every last one here. Those bastards, man. When is the Glarian Paul merch dropping? <laughs> we gotta get something going soon, so I'm thinking maybe we'll have more luck finding max mushrooms. If you go check Warm Up Tunnel. It's on the other side of the forest. Warm Up Tunnel, huh? Never met a mushroom obsessed old man I didn't like. <laughs> Damn. I, I gotta evolve my shiny Paul, I just don't know how he evolves. I have him with me. Yeah, stick with the Eviolite bit, thank you. Eviolite. Alright, we got uh, Amoongus is back. This really is the Mushroom he's Forest, Galarian never waver. Paul, still named Paul. Of course he is. Paul. Hello, people call me Digging Ma. Okay, there, he, there she is. Have you met Digging Pa? He's my partner. Um, I feel like giving you a piece of Armorite ore to commemorate our meeting. Well, thank you for that. Get them shrooms, man. Amoongus too fat. Okay, wait, I accidentally just mashed B through that. Here I go. Dug up one piece of armorite ore. I stop now, you get two pieces. Shall I keep digging? Um, no. Listen, lady, I got ex exploring to do. I don't want to just watch your non-existent digging. Thank you for the, thank you for the ore, though. So that's nice. We can get some new moves and shit with that. What is popping over this way? Hello. Hey, Max Mushrooms. Oh, it's only you, Hayden. Jeez, don't confuse me like that. Oh, sorry, buddy. He's really, really to be looking out, though. Got a fishing spot down there, which is kind of neat. Pawnyard. Is a hidden item right here. A, tig, a twig from a species of tree called Galeri Galerica that grows in Galerica. That grows in certain areas around the Galerica material for an accessory for a certain Pokemon. Yes, got to know this is a Nuzlocke. Just kidding, no, it's not. Um, we all got some mushroom. Ooh, right on, hello. Also, hey, there's one of them Diglets. How do I get him? Oops. Oh, I did it. <laughs> Diglett returned to his trainer. You need to find seven more Diglett in the Forest of Focus. Okay, that's cool. It tells me exactly how many there are here. Scolipede! Holy shit. You guys remember when Scolipede just got act? Ooh, Tango also. Holy shit, Tangrowth being back for competitive is a fucking game changer, boys. Insane. How's the expansion pack? Can't wait to buy it. Pretty cool so far. I'm enjoying it. All about some new content. When does the next when does the next part of it come out, by the way? Does anyone know? In the fall. We love the Tangulos. What the fuck was that? What was that flying? It's gone. Is that an Amalga? It's gone. Guess we got a raid den over there. That's a huge be Ooh, heard a Pikachu. I like how Pikachu's cry is actually him saying Pikachu. Sup, Amoongus? Are you the max mushrooms I'm looking for? Found a big mushroom. Homeboy oh told me to go to the cave. I'm literally just running around aimlessly. Just having, just, just having a grand old time. Gonna get lost? Yeah, I'm pretty much already lost. Hello? A lot of items in shit though. The twig. Ten growth would have been nice for when Dracovish was terrorizing OU. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, man. Yeah, now, now Dracovish is, is banned. Also, the game is so laggy right now. My gosh, I saw the most awesome Pokemon ever. I can show you its awesome Pokedex entry for 100 won if you'd like. Sure. 
I got rots. I got watts to spare. Uh, what is it? Did did Dene re really do? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, what is this? What do we have here? Is that a Chansey? My God. Chansey being back. I think it's just an absolute mess. Okay, wait. I think I need to I need to go back over the bridge and go continue straight that way. I don't really know. Guess my bad for backseat game. Okay? Check your map. Fuck Chansey. All my homies hate Chansey. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. So th I mean, we're just supposed to be just supposed to be heading on this way. Go get max mushrooms. Is my goal. Chansey is a pure soul. Not unless you're battling against it. The thing is, is fucking evil. I think it's the opposite of a pure soul. He's like, you can attack me all you want. I can just eat eggs all day over here. I got lost during this part. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's part of the... That's part. Ooh, Scyther! Get your ass over here, Scythe. Hello? Yeah! <laughs> Love to see Scyther back, boys. Freaking, that means... You know what that means. Scizor is back. Amazing. He's just munching on eggs. Just eats it up. Eats its own eggs, though. It's kind of weird. Chansey's a weird bug, you know. Ted Walnut's what's happening, man. It's either going to be so nice when Technician... Technician Dual Wing Beat. True. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how this affects the competitive. Bulbasaur learn growth. Wants to learn Leech Seed? Sure, buddy. We learned growth. Um, fuck growl. First live stream? First live stream? Death Shadow? Or Death, Death Shadow? I think you, you were gifted a sub. Already got them emotes. Trying to learn Razor Leaf. I probably don't need to be teaching. We're going to definitely get better moves later on. Mm, Ta-da. Poison Powder? Okay, that's enough, Bulbasaur. Sleep Powder? Okay, we'll definitely sleep you teach a Sleep Powder. Okay, that's fine. Heck Growth. Shiny Scizor has come home. I wonder who the first person with a Shiny Scizor is. If anybody's even gotten one yet. Slowpoke wants to learn Zen Headbutt. Um, you're going to be not a physical attacker. So, no. Bam, bam, bam. Does Galarian Slowbro get any cool moves? That I should be aware of? Squillis! Glad you are able to finally cool. catch one as well. Thank you for stopping by. And also, thank you for the two months. Slubber has a cool signature move. Is it like some type of acid shooting gun? Gun, gun pew pew move? Look at, look at there's a Chansey. Freaking Chanseys, man. There's also a Tauros over there. What is going on over here? Um, Pincer! Yes! Young Dick Pinch. I need him. Ivy Sword, whip me. <laughs> Shell Sido. Sounds, sounds interesting. Alright, Pincer. Mold Breaker Boy. Put, put some pincers in the chat. Um, okay, this is actually just going to. We're going to bite. This is going to kill. I have no idea what it. No, definitely not. Tries to guillotine. Blizzard, gotta put that Evi light on it. Thank you for that, friend. All right, we're going to Ultra Ball this bad boy. Thick Pincer. Love Pincer. They had to put Pincer in also. They're like, we can't just put Scy only Scyther. Catching the Pincer just for the memes. We probably got to bring this on the team. Maybe so. Level twenty-two. Seed bomb. Um, we're good. I was gonna tell you the dick pinch was in, but I didn't want to spoil it if you didn't. <laughs> yeah, I have, a, I have no idea about what's really what's really in, to be honest. TBH. All right, pinch is sent to the box, but hey, wait, the DLC was made for you, Paul and Dick Pinch. <laughs> the gang is all here. All right, let's um grab this here, pincer. And heck, you, Barney. Hair cross and shield, on my and titties like you huh. wanted me, calling me all the Prodigy, time. thank you for the 69. Let's take a look at this old pinchy boy. Serious nature, swords dance, submission, guillotine, and superpower. They really wanted Pinsir to be such a fake fighting type. Like, all that thing learns is fighting type moves, man. 
Okay, is this the cave I was looking for? Well, found an upgrade. Ooh, that means... You know what that means. Ooh, there's also titty... <laughs> there's titty milks here. This is amazing. Look at him just flopping around those nips. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Wait a second, those letters are in the wrong spot. Ooh, Kangaskhan too. Damn, bro, they really, they did they did a good job bringing back some cool shit, man. What's up, big mama? So what's this rate? I'm gonna take a look and grab some lots. It is... Lilligant? I think. Hello? Oop, oop, oh, god damn it, I, I should not have hit B. Ooh, it's Q-Bones too. And Sandshrew. Hey there, little shrew. And there's another one of those dicklets. Zap Zip or Miltank. Man, I used to use Miltank so much back in the day. Thick club, nice. Is this, this is not even the, is this the place that I was looking for? Yep. We are definitely in the warm up tunnel. Fun fact, Sand Slash gets access to spikes this gen. Hey, ooh, these are definitely some max mushrooms. Those look like some trippy-ass mushrooms. We love the thick club. Oh, she's, of course she's here. Hey, these are my mushrooms, lady. Here, I thought I needed to go find them one by one. I saw these mushrooms first, I swear. No, you didn't, lady. I just clicked on them. A ground type with access to spikes? Finally. I've been at the dojo longer than it all, so it's only fair you let me have them. Um, fuck no. Battle me for them, lady. You're a pain in the neck. Show up out of nowhere. Just happen to be young and talented. You're looking to get your way? Well, things of wild poisons will take care of that. Ooh, okay. What happens if I just let him, let her have them? Like how she's like just touching them. <laughs> she's got her finger on the button. Okay, she's gonna leave with a slow poke. I hate to do it to you, poke, but I gotta kill you, buddy. These mushrooms are hella nice. Except she has more than two mods this time. Hopefully. I'd smash. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill everything with dragon darts until we run out. Also, is there like a Pokemon Center around here? Or how do I go about how do I go about that? Oko and everything with my shiny dragon bolt. The room of the dead. If it's legal, she would have straight up murdered this kid. <laughs> Grandpa. Grandpapa. Next is coughing. Okay. She just switched out her team real quick. Nothing evolved yet, obviously, because level scaling issues, I guess. They could have just made it though if you were like high, if they were higher than level if you're higher than level 40, they should have evolved stuff. I just don't I don't get it. Fine, not gonna lie, bro. The door in the dojo uh, to the right of the nice. Makes sense. I've started 24, slowpoke 27, once learned amnesia. I think it's funny learning amnesia. Alright. We're lapid. Um, don't brave bird that ass with young Chiding. What have I missed? Well, we had a little uh, had a little run in with some slow pokes. We had to chase them down, and uh, we're just out here exploring. Now we're gathering some mushrooms. Quite an interesting experience so far. How much content is in this? Like Sam, how, did you finish it? No. Those of you have who have finished this, how long did it take you? Do you think it was worth? Do you think it was worth the money? As much as I hate to say it, it's almost just worth it, purely because of the Pokemon they brought back. <laughs> like just to have access to that, those were better. They're basic Pokemon because you can access the DLC before the first game. I know, but I mean, if you're higher level, they should have given them a long time. Two wish hours. The stuff that you get is worth. I can't remember. Uh, take down. Fuck that. A respectable amount. I mean, cause so we've been playing for about an hour. From what I'm seeing on stream, it wouldn't be worth it. I think it's pretty neat. That's only half what you paid for. Yeah, true. There's a there's a whole other a whole other thing, whole other section. The the crown tundra. So this is the island. Got three clusters of max mushrooms. Just have to forget about the fact that they could have put them all in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Oh, honey's giving me a call. How's the trial going? I'm managing somehow. 
I mean, you've already managed to find three max measure by checking on everybody's progress, but it seems you're in first place once again. I'm just great. This guy, this guy loves me. He's like, can I adopt you, child? I suppose I'd better go put the pot on the stove, but you be careful on your way back. Ciao. This one seems to be more of an intro to the DLC, and the Tundra is going to be the bulk of it. Yeah, because the Tundra will get, give us the new legendary, or not new, but I mean the legendaries and shit. Another one of them diglets. Oh yeah, Honey's the girl. Sorry, Mustard's the guy. <laughs> Alright, here we have the Pot Bottom Desert. But wait, was there, was there more in this cave that I should have been doing? I don't think so. It's literally just like one little tunnel. Not even... Nothing too crazy going on in this cave, huh? Wait, no, we can go this way. Hold on, hold on. False alarm, we can go this way. And there is a TM here? What is this? Stealth Rock. The TR-76. Young Stealth Rocks, alright. Hey, yo, Diglett, let me see them legs. Hey, there's another Diglett. These things are freaking everywhere. I mean, there's 150 of them, so I guess they are, like, all over. Hey! <laughs> that was an alert we set up for the 420 stream, and we just left it. Thank you, Roller Coaster. Oh, nothing's worse than the fucking sandstorm places. I just can't see... Oh, I can't see a damn thing. My corny is... Sand wild sand slashes, though. Also, Braviary. What, are we, what else we got up here? What do we got? Am I supposed to go back now that I got the that I got the mushrooms? Wild Rhyperior. Okay, well, I guess we'll go back and then we'll continue to explore. I just ran over a hidden item. I'm aware. What the hell is that? Sandile! Hey, Sandile's back. Oh, my lungs make my asthma act up. <laughs> oh, God, Muriel, get my inhaler. There's too much sand out here. <laughs> Alright, so... I just don't like sand or haley areas down there. I like how the mill tanks and the toros is hanging out together. Cows and the bulls. What is this over here? Hold the phone. We are gonna take a little little detour. Challenge road, huh? Fuck. Okay, I really want to explore this, but I also we're gonna get off track and I'm gonna end up getting more and more lost. So we're going back. And also hold it. But what is this? What is this? You sound like you could use a popsicle. You boys like popsicles? I got a whole mess of them down in my shell. Ooh, polyrath. Hey there, buddy. I just like seeing all the new things. Although, I don't know where the fuck I... Okay, I kind of remember know where I am because of where that thing is. General Pedro's here. I'm lost. Hold up. Gonna need to bust out the map. If we get off track, I'm gonna get lost. Oh, hey, what's this? <laughs> Ironic how escaper was a key item in the game when it burst into dungeons. Yeah, they're like, hey, you can have this, but you're never gonna really need it. Alright, we've made it back. I was literally right there. I'm doing great. General Pedro is the best artist on this website. You must follow him. Alright, what's going on over here? Seems like there's a party going on. I was not invited. I was busy collecting mushrooms for this old man. Unless they're already back and they didn't find anything. Looks like you nailed the trial. Congrats on finding the max mushrooms. Trial number two was no problem for you. All my other students ended up getting lost in the forest. Turns out finding max mushrooms was the least of their problems. It's a shame, but I guess everyone other than Hayden will fail the trial. <laughs> you guys fucking suck. Well, first things first, a proper meal. Let's have the max mushrooms made into a delicious soup. So this is the thing, I did read about this, where you can turn a, a Pokemon that it is not normally a G-Max. You can make it a G-Max. Pretty cool concept. Really outdone myself this time. We never hear from those students ever again. What do you do for finding all those dick? What do you get for finding all those diglets? I don't know, actually. That's a good question. Am I too lazy to do it? For, probably, yeah. I'm gonna probably have to do that at some point, but... I've got some max mushrooms too. Oh, nice work, Clara. He wants to start hard for this. Makes you the second person to pass the second trial. Wah! Look at there's the wah. <laughs> I did it. There's a lot of wahs. A lot of wahs. Chin up, darling Clara. You did it. Comments for some. Uh, you can if you hit who, who poisoned it. Yeah, Salazzle has an ability called corrosion that it <laughs> There's Kev with the wah. <laughs> yeah, Salazzle can do it. You get different Alola Pokemon for the Diglets. Sucking on my titties like you wanted me, calling me all the time. That is another alert that was just basically taken from a soundbite from one of the intros of one of my old videos. <laughs> There's another way. 
Well, if that's all you're after, then I'm perfectly happy to oblige. Thank you, Meowstic. <laughs> and Kev. This is hardly the first time you've asked for something. I'd rather doubt that it'd be the last. Miss Honey, hope you don't feel that your thunder's being stolen, Hayden, but we're a family here and family share, so we'll go ahead and use Claire's mushrooms today. <laughs> More ways. <laughs> I really want to reward that. You understand, don't you? You can hold on to the max mushrooms you found. I'm sure you'll find good use for them. Well, how neat is that? They let us keep them. Think of these max mushrooms as an extra reward. Also, I like how my shirt matches the whole island vibe of tonight, tonight's stream. Ooh, look at There's like the, the clouds above it. That's dope. Oh my god, so many ways. <laughs> Literally raining biddies out here. The famous max soup of the master dojo. Well, I'm famished. Time to dig in. Oh my god, Ted. Is this chick our pokey waifu? Absolutely. Her mushrooms are poisonous? Oh no, she's she poisoning everybody? I never did explain the big deal about the soup, did I? You see? Uh, when one drinks the Donjo's famous max soup, you feel Dynamax energy welling up from inside you? Goddamn. No, you don't. That kind of thing doesn't happen in a human if a human has the soup. Uh oh. But things are different when a certain Pokemon drink the soup. You see, there's some Pokemon that have distinct potential. Uh, when they drink the soup, their Dynamax form will change into a Gigantamax form. Hell yeah. I'll keep one of the lads, one of our lads in the kitchen on soup duty from now on too. That kind of makes, that kind of like ruins the whole point of like going and having to do a max raid for a, a G-Max. You can make anything that. Aiden gonna get huge? What if I just Dynamaxed in here, busted through the house, fucked up the roof? <laughs> I would only be big for three turns, so that's fine. Thanks for the soup, Miss Honey. What if you just Gigantamaxed at the dinner table? <laughs> for real though. By the way, Hayden, meet me in my room when you have a moment. Ooh, I don't know. That's some stranger danger. Meet in your room, huh? Where is it? Is this it? What would you like to do? Storm my Pokemon. Dynamax Habert confirmed. Oh. Stepped on his wife and ate his kid. Ooh, look at this thing. It's like a... What the hell? All that's left is to fire it up with the on button. So here we go. Let's push it. Okay, someone's going to explode. I can already tell. Now we're good. Cripes, it powered down. Must still need more watts. Um, okay. This is a pretty dope room you got here, buddy. I saw a Tim Pole thingy. Yeah, look at that. There you are, Hayden. Clara, thanks for coming. Is that a Roadrunner? People can Dynamax now. What is, the, what is this, Attack on Titan? I don't get the reference. <laughs> but I'll pretend like I do. Final, last, ultimate, third trial. The last, ultimate, third trial? Final, last, ultimate, or third trial? Or what's that? Ultimate? So basically, this is the last trial. I love how, I love when they give you options to say certain text, but then it's just like, it doesn't change anything. First time here, what's up? If you guys are just now joining for the very first time to my Twitch streams for my YouTube announcement, first of all, hello, welcome. I do f I do stream here often. I'd say this time it's time to finally see who is stronger in a Dynamax Pokemon battle, but yo. Aldo Boomin, thanks for stopping by, friend. Make sure you hit that follow button. Be alerted when I stream next. I am in the middle of doing a uh, Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke at the moment. It's a good time. Egglock, just kidding. Not, not Nuzlocke. The rules are simple. Whoever wins will complete the trial. The winner will be granted the secret armor of the Master Dojo. This is it, finally. But can I? First time here, not impressed, goodbye. Snolly, your, your boo has a crown on it. That means you've been subbed for a year. <laughs> he fucked up that emote. The battle will be held in the battle court behind the Master Dojo. The court is a power spot, so you can Dynamax to your heart's content. Ooh, gotta get going. Need to go there right away to prepare my pure heart for this. Going ahead, okay? You can laze about like a slowpoke and take as much time as you need. Maybe he's just been gifts up this whole time. Honestly, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> Hello, I'm new here. I think you're muted, Hayden. <laughs> Homeless crackhead, I don't want to hear it, all right? She's never felt the need to try hard at anything, I guess. Even with her training here at the dojo, I can tell she's been doing the bare minimum. <laughs> Things have changed since you arrived, Hayden. Maybe you helped awaken some sort of passion and drive in her, eh? Thank you, Meowstick. Shout out to the lurkers. Shout, definitely shout out to the lurkers. If you're here lurking, we appreciate you still. Let's take a look around this. What, what is what is this? What what? What is the importance of this, and why did they show us? What is this thing? Some sort of machine made out of junk parts that look like a Pokemon. You like it? Kind of. You can G-Max or Gen 8 starters with the Max Soup. Nice. I do like it. Thought you might be the type. That's my cram cram o -matic. How can I can I go back into the kitchen and make my max soup? Long time lurker here. No, I've seen you talking. I just had enough watts, but mommy, mummy won't give me any more of hers. I have some watts. You want some watts? I have a shit ton. 
Okay, but wait. The Scarlet Feather! Thank you very much. Um, so apparently we can... We can G-Max our starter? So hold up, let's... Let me grab this lad. And how do I... You boys want some watch? Not looking tonight, but I'm uh, playing the DLC along with you. Very nice. Can I go back into the kitchen and, like, go make some more? Hello? What's happening? Want to give your Pokemon Max Soup? Yes, I do. Casually exposing non-lurkers. Which Pokemon do you want to give Max Soup to? Uh, Dexter. This is actually really cool. Glad to finally catch a stream. You're the best, bro. Thank you very much, Storm Guardian. I appreciate you. Hey, this Inteleon drinks Max Soup. It'll become capable of Dynamaxing. I'll use three clusters of Max Mushrooms to make Max Soup. Is that all right? Uh, sure. Three clusters? That's all my clusters. Inteleon is now capable of Gigantamaxing. Nice. Okay, so let's go in here and let's just immediately check this bad boy out. Let's see what's up with this Dynamax form, shall we? Heck you, Phantasma. Let's see this gun Inteleon. We're about to go snipe some hoes right now. It's gonna be a good time. Although I thought this was. Oh, can't ride my bicycle right now. Well, why the heck not? Big ass battlefield. Hot damn. Got a lot of real estate. Love to see it. What is up? Gonna have to body this lady one more time. Pokemon. American Sniper. Version. <laughs> You're here. When I beat you. I'll get the secret armor. And then I'll become a poison type gym leader. I've got to win, no matter what. I'm gonna go all out and totally beat you. You ready? Um, okay. You can't ride your bike on sacred grounds. Don't be silly. <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry. I was mistaken. Looks like two of you already. Good thing Sturd's here. Quick scope these hoes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I wanted to have a freaking dust tox. All right, you two, take your places. The way she stands has to be so uncomfortable. <laughs> Everybody hates this girl, huh? The little Mac with the three months. Shout out to the three months. So many people have been resubbing for three months lately. I appreciate you. The little Mac, you're an absolute legend. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, so she's hopefully gonna have some cooler shit this time. It's still probably gonna be unevolved. I think she looks cool. I don't like how she presses the button on her Pokeball for so long, though. What the hell does that even do? Scruffy? Alright, we are about to get absolutely destroyed by Sexy Lizard. <laughs> sexy Skinny Lizard is here to bring the pain. Mm -mm, new music, I see. Random question. Do you still talk to King Daddy D-Mac? I have not talked to Dave. Hey, I... What the fuck just happened? Why did I just get poisoned and why am I already sleepy? Hello? I didn't I haven't done any attack. Why did I what's up man? Just got on the train headed toward the new DLC. Nice, thanks for stopping by. She cheated. This bitch put toxic spikes down before the battle started. And I'm upset. We're gonna G Max Hydro snipe that ass though. Oh she just said it? Oh, I was literally <laughs> I was not paying attention. I was reading chat and just mashing through the text. Accurate exposed. Unfair. Ooh, look at that. I like how his, his sniper stand is his tail. And that shit's crazy. Also, the sound is so much louder than everything else. Oh, yes. Destruction. What is the secondary effect of that? Okay, just destroy it. So you get for cheating. Baby. Also, how the heck do I evolve the Galarian Slowpoke? Hayden wasn't pl paying attention just like... Uh, a real life conversation with a girl. <laughs> yeah, I pay attention. I pay attention. Isn't that right, Samantha? Only to you. Wait, Haber, what were you saying about Dave? I just haven't talked to Dave in a very long time. Hope he's doing well, though. It ignores abilities. Oh. I just re opened Twitch in here. Oh, yeah. Get down, Mr. President. Alright, so there's a, there's a Galarian Weezing, which is pretty neat. We're just absolutely just running through this, though. Please just Derek. I like that emote. Slowpoke wants to learn Surf. Yeah, we just learned Surf through level up. What? Since they're no longer HMs, I guess they can just give you... Just give you Surf through level up. I'd love to see it. Even though we're not even water type. Anyway, what the fuck? Crocker Rock is pretty good. 
All right, and then last but not least is Whirlipede. So, I mean, her Whirlipede at least evolved once since we first saw it, right? At least no Toxapex. True. I'm gonna finish you off with another Hydra Snipe. It's so weird, I've been playing so many just VGC double battles that I always feel like I need to select my target. Hey, Bert, you need a laughing emote? I do. We gotta get Pedro on that, don't we? Agent with the 15 months. Thank you very much. 15 heckin' months. That's a lot of months. A lot of months, Agent. Thank you. Alright, and then there's Slowbro. Okay, so this is our first time actually seeing the Slowbro. Unfortunately, this pincer doesn't have a heckin' bug move. Um, we're just gonna stay in. See Dynamax this thing? Ain't no way I'm losing. All right, that's fine. Until he needs a reload sound. <laughs> what the fuck is that poke on the tree? Looking like a sniper from CSGO. <laughs> All right, so there is our buddy Slowbro. He has his, he's got his gun with him. This thing is looking badass. Actually, level 67, which is a little scary. I should have just switched into my Dragapult, but it's fine. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh Jesus! Look at the size of this lad. I am truly in awe. Cap with the shiny cart bits. Thank you very much. Man, I was pissed off. Where the water comes from in the profile view. All right, get a little bit of U-turn damage. Love to see it. Big Paul with a machine gun. I do need an emote for that thing too. Somehow he looks more derpy. <laughs> he looks better, I would say. He's lost a little bit of weight. Just creamed his pants seeing the Big Paul. Yep, absolutely. There's the Max Goose. Oh shit. There was no water sound. Okay, special, special attack boost. He's like shaking his machine gun at the sky, telling everyone to get off his lawn. You kids get off my damn lawn! Um, I still forgot that this Dragapult is literally has just the worst moveset of, of all time. I, I almost need to just stall out this thing's freaking Dynamax, man. This is not great. Um, check it out. Paul, meet your very large brother. <laughs> I'm just gonna send this thing in just to flex real quick. That is a shiny slowpoke. I know you're jealous. Literally the Pokemon Gunbird and Antonio Sniper, Dragapult, Rocket Launcher, Paul Machine Gun. True. All right, sorry to have to do that to you, slowpoke, but I just wanted you to say hello. Yeah, maybe he's Mindstorm, yeah. Bam, 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 banana paw. Banana ball. Da, 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 da. The shiny boy got poisoned. Okay, well, so I'm hacked here until I can just bring in Dragapult again, I suppose. I should have probably taught that thing, you know, a decent move. But all right, one last turn. <laughs> one last turn of this, of this large boy. And um, it would be funny if I could guillotine it. But we're just gonna click superpower and die. It's fine. This thing has a special attack boost. Saw his brother. We got whack Rip Paul. Oh, actually, going first, obviously, because you know, slow, bro. One more mindstorm. I just love how much they focused on freaking Galarian slow, bro. I really did not bring even like a team for this. I figured Dragapult was just gonna be able to gonna be able to do it. Didn't hack enough. Just to Set all hazards on the field before. I What's happening, Bastodon? Now for now a gold slow poke tail. I'd pay one million poke dollars for. True. All right. Um. I, my best option is Dragon Dart. It's got to be unless I don't even know what this Dragon Ball is. Man, this thing's just been literally chilling in my box. And that'll just. Happen. How many Diggos you got? <laughs> Not a lot. I have like seven. Not even seven actually. I like five. I haven't really been searching for the big ones. I've been too, I've been too interested on like everything else. Sweet scent. Hey, you should make a parody of my shiny teeth and me called my shiny Paul and me. 
just launch my babies at you real quick and get hacked again, lady. But I didn't hold back. I gave it everything I've got. We love launching our babies. The victor has been decided. It has indeed. The one to complete the third trial is you, Hayden. Hey, you know, we still haven't gotten to the part where we can, my Pokemon can walk by me. What's up with that? That was amazing. What a fierce battle. What a cheating hoe. My shiny paw that sparkles. Well, this stinks. I do everything, even cheat a little, and still lose. <laughs> Didn't expect a young, talented kid like you to really get it, but uh, I really was trying, you know? As hard as I could. Maybe it's time for me to just give up on my dream of being a gym leader. Once they find out what I did, I'll be expelled from the dojo anyway. Hayden, you can tell the master that I cheated. Um, you know what? I'm going to tell her. I'm straight snitching. Is it just me or is she hot? Says Moon <laughs> uh, So many people have said that. She's nuts, but damn. <laughs> Maybe it's time for you to evolve your minds, lady. Seriously. Didn't want to be beaten by her rival, that's all. She's a good, hard-working student. Well, what the fuck? My snitching... My, nothing came of my snitching. That's a that's a, a lesson from Pokemon. I chose Bulbasaur. Look after the Pokemon in the dojo for six months by yourself. What? I mean, yeah, that's a lot of work, but is that all? Of course, let's go work. Let's work on strengthening your heart. <laughs> Never put it in crazy. Oh, okay. All right. Um... All right, everyone. Things are settled here. So proud of you both. Mustard, mu mustard. Ha! Get it? Got so teared up that I couldn't even see half the battle. But what I saw was amazing. So moving. I'm tearing up. I don't know about that. You gave it your best and triumphed, even when faced with an unfair challenge. To you, I was completed. I grant the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Oh shit! We got the. I don't know what that means, but neat. Moon Hiler Honey on main. <laughs> Pokemon really teaching the real lessons. Alright. So we get the League Guard, thank you. My shiny paw, that sparkles. You're really strong. And she runs off. <laughs> Thanks, lady. Uh, okay. So, but now what? My team's still, still food? Nope, we're good. I want to use the slowpoke map. One day I'll be strong like you. What's up, buddy? Ah, there you are, Hayden, keeping this old man waiting, hmm? Since you completed the, all three trials, I'll give you the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Am I about to put on some armor? Am I gonna look cool? Now then, come on out. Yes! Yes! Wait, is this. Is, Freaking Cub Fu. Just what we needed, another Kung Fu thing. Nice. Ooh! That was sick. This little fella's got some energy. He looks at me, he's like, hello? A uh, little guy spooked. You need a Cub Fu emote? The quality, the, I, I actually like the DLC so far. We got Gordon Ramsay in the chat. This little guy is dope. I like him. Galarian beware. Bear? This Pokemon is in fact the secret armor of the master. Okay, I thought he was literally gonna give me some armor, but in turn, turns out, it is bear. Raise it with diligence, and it'll become strong enough to see you through any battle. Just like a suit of armor. No opponent will be able to get past it. This one in particular has amazing potential. Problem is, it's a bit shy. Doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself. Ah, oh, poor little feller. I will be your father now. Maybe if it joins you on your adventure, adventure, you'll help it break out of its shell a little bit. So take good care of Cub Fu, okay? It's in your hands now. Nice, nice. Come to me, friend. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You're gonna skin it and wear it like armor? <laughs> yes, that's the idea. Anyone notice that Hayden's character is rocking the man bun? Yeah, when you when you put on this on this costume, they make you do it. Cub Fu became your Pokemon. Nice. New friend. Alright, so pure fighting type. Two feet tall, Cub Fu trains hard to perfect its move. The moves its masters will determine which form it takes when it evolves. Ah, ooh. Okay. Now, yeah, the first thing you need for you to do is become the best friends of Cub Fu. You need to build trust. Hasn't really had a chance to explore the outside world. World outside the dojo. Maybe it'll help you become better friends if you let it have a look around. Maybe take it to a spot that has a great view of the Isle of Armor. I'll have my students standing at good spots. Just 
Keep an eye out. Okay, we're gonna go catch some good views with our cup of food. Of course, having battles or camping out together would also, would also make it become more friendly. Grant you permission to keep a Pokemon out of its Pokeball here on the Isle of Armor. We have permission. Now you can let the Pokemon at the head of your team out of its Pokeball and take it first roll. Fuck yeah. You already know my yellow Slowpoke is about to be out. Why are these Slowpokes moving so goddamn fast they snatch... <laughs> Seriously, I don't understand why they made those pokes so fast in the beginning. But, alright. So that's pretty neat. Now I'm supposed to become friendly with Kupfu. That is our that's our next goal. Looks like we like had already finished everything. Okay, can this thing does, does Slowpoke come out? Hey, hello? How do I make him come out? Oh there he is! Hey buddy! <laughs> yes. Come on. Why isn't this one fast like the others? Come on, Slowpoke. Oh my god, he's so slow. <laughs> I'm just gonna lose you, bud. Does he just teleport to me eventually? Yeah, he does. Neat. Okay, hold on. I want to take out my little cub fella now. I gotta get him. Wait for him. Where is my cub? Where is my cub? Why? There he is. Alright, level 10. Inner focus, gentle nature. This thing does not. Gentle is like the worst nature for a kung fu freaking bear. But that's fine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take out Cub Fu now. Just to see what this little feller. Oops. Just to let him run with me. Okay, let's go back to that sandstorm area and see what the hell's going on out there. Hey, he's fast. Definitely much faster than old Slowpoke. Okay, but when we get into a battle, it's going to be a bad idea to have him in front. But All right, so we're back to the wetlands. Whoa, Boofalon. Jesus Christ, he scared the shit out of me, sir. Afro boy. Afro Tauros. Um, okay, having Cub Fu, this is, it. This is not good. It's not great. Sammy's playing the same thing. So she's playing Pokemon Shield, I'm on Sword. See some walking boys. How many Pokemon are now in this game? All of them? Definitely not all of them, but there's substantially more. I don't know how many. Does anybody know the exact number on how many they added? Okay, let's put. I want to put Dragon Pole down and see what Dragon Pole looks like. Come with me, sir. Also, you'll be nice to have in front. Nope, not Dexter. I feel like this was an easy feature to add because for everything they already had like an overworld. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Oh my god, you can just push him? <laughs> Literally just pushing my dragon around. <laughs> Interesting. Sword gang, where you at? Sword gang. Imagine being a shield gang. This post was made by sword gang. Perfect habitat for... Little Quagsires, huh? What is over this way? Because we definitely have not gone this far, right? Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, look. I know we have, because this is where that. This is where that cave was. That's a freaking. Um, what was that raid? I don't remember. Something heckin' dumb, though. Ooh, Meryl! Yeah, the trap. Wait, was it trap -inch? Yeah. We got Pelippers all over the place, Staryu's, love the, love the, the fact that Staryu's back, man. Okay, what is going on over this way? Hey, Azenbug continuing the gift sub they got, thank you very much. I yeah, appreciate that. What is this? Hello? This is the Tower of Waters. You are not ready to climb this tower or leave this place. What the fuck? Why am I not ready? What do you mean I'm not ready? Um... What do I have to do to be ready? Hmm. Right here, just down in the middle of the ocean on my bike. Oh god, that Sharpedo's coming for me. What is that I what is this little island? Do I want this? 
Better be something cool here. I have to get good. Damn it. I'm not good. Why does this look like an empty ass arm? Visit all the spots we've come through? No, I have not. Is that what I have to do? Wow, there's literally just a den and some grass here. Ooh, there's executors though. Okay. And executes. And my dragapult scared the shit out of me. Um Okay, let's take a look at the town map. Where, where are the um So I'm supposed to be going to are these the are these the areas I'm supposed to be going to or is Alright. So we'll first go to the desert, huh? How do I evolve my freaking Galarian Slowbro? Slowpoke. Someone help. Tentacool. Tentacool's back. Tentacool wasn't in the game, right? Like never runs out of power because it's man tired, sir. There's a dojo person that each of the spots. We need eight of the twigs. Oh, it's the twigs that does it, huh? I don't have enough. Did you meet the cool lady on the island here in the ocean? What? I'm in the ocean right now. Gyarados. There's a cool lady on the ocean? Would I be looking for a lady? No, I don't want to know what she does, but for the sake. Um, yeah? Kind of. What do we have here? Okay, let's go. So much stardust. What I really want is some damn EXP cannons, but I'm too lazy to go get them. You can reset EVs from what I understood. Uh, from her text boxes. Ooh. You can reset EVs, huh? That's actually pretty legit. Also, look at how pink the sky is. Pincers and scythers all over the damn place. To evolve Paul, you need to get eight of uh, the twigs and trade them with someone on the small island on the water. And they will give you an item you need to evolve Paul. Okay. Trade them with someone on a small island on the water? So like what I was just on? Fuck. The DLC is going pretty good. I'm liking it so far. I mean, I feel like I'm pretty much done with the main things of it, right? Can't be too much more to do other than just to go all the spots. All of the spots we've got. Does that make them evolve when we go to those spots? She's on the one in the middle of the ocean by the train. Did you leave the train station, the lady on the island to the right. Nice. Hey, well, I guess I gotta try to collect them twigs, huh? How many of those twigs do I have? Fucking Chansey's in the cave. Someone tell me where I can find more of those twigs. I need to evolve my shiny paw. Fuck Meganium, bro. <laughs> Trees, just like apples. Um, we got a raid den over there, but do I want to fuck with it? I can't see a damn thing! Oh. Bunch of Agon Rapiriers. What is this? Reversal. I think the best place to gather them is in the Forest of Focus. Interesting. Where is, um. Hit and getting ready for motor <laughs> motocross. Yes, okay, so this the lookout spot or whatever. They've gotta be like right over here. It's a weird looking rock. Where am I supposed to be going? Oh, the, I'm supposed to talk to these people, huh? Got to see the view from here. Come on, why don't you and Cub Fu enjoy the scenery together? Sure. Okay. Me and Cub Fu just having a chill. Just a couple of couple of dudes being guys. Couple of guys being dudes. Okay, this is a, the shittiest view I've ever seen. I was expecting us to like get a, like a bird's eye view or something. Being with your Pokemon makes everyday scenery feel brighter and more colorful. Colorful, don't you think? Um, sure. So, did that knock that off the list? It does. Now we're headed to headed to the Challenge Road Tower. Okay, so that was that was the place where we we started to go that that time, but then I got I didn't want to get sidetracked. 
What kind of scenic view is that? Seriously, they're like, hey, look at There's nothing here. What a view, huh? Your character gonna open his mouth in the middle of a sandstorm? <laughs> Terrible idea. Bottle of Moo Moo milk. Fuck yeah, they'd just be milking the... Milking the tanks out here. Hey, wait. Oops. Was that a diglet? Yeah, there was. There's fucking diglets all over the place. Wait. No, it wasn't. That's just a rock. <laughs> Turns out that's a rock and goddammit, Bill Tank snuck up on it. I wouldn't drink that. Just some... Just a bottle of milk you find on the ground? What do you mean you wouldn't drink that? Why the heck not? <laughs> Moo Milk is the best. It's basically New Mexico scenic view. <laughs> Post uncurled Clefas. Alright, let's see what's popping. This has gotta be a cool idea. Damn it, Herdier! Get out my face, boy. Sandstorm teams are about to get a little interesting with Stoutland around, huh? Think Sand Rush boys? At least lower tiers will. It's not a boulder, it's a rock. Well, that's what I said, I said it's a rock. By the way, how's it going on, bro? Pioneers did not ride those babies for miles because them bitches is too small. Alright, so we're just gonna go all the way to the top up here. Hello? Ooh, there's a lichen rock right there. Hi there, Hayden. You gotta see the view from here. Sure. Freshly picked milk. <laughs> Maybe it's Toros milk? Actually, true. <laughs> Taurus is a male, so probably not, says Sam. Well, that's actually kind of a cooler view. Been here, my friend, more so lurking. Because Pokemon Uranium requires a dumb amount of brandy. <laughs> well, thank you for stopping by, buddy. So we got Lycan Rocks there. Ooh, Skarmory, too. Just straight booling. What the hell is up here? This is actually a pretty large... Pretty large section of the game, huh? I'm not going to be able to go in there, though. There's going to be a guy that tells me that I'm not ready. Tower of Darkness. Okay, well, fuck. When will I be ready? Okay, so let's take a look. So we did that view spot, so now it's time to go to the Brawler's Cave, which is pretty close, so we're just gonna cycle on down. And this is the Brawler's Cave, isn't it? Y'all got any Brawlers around here? Do you have Metal Coat? Ooh, there's a Mianfu. Chow, I mean. Mian Chow. Diglett. Diglett, dig. dig. Diglett, get over here. Damn it, I always have to hit the wrong thing. You were the first person to complete the challenges? How can you not be ready? <laughs> yeah, what the hell? You know, Snelly? You, when you're right, you're right. Okay, where's the, um... Was there a guy out front that I just completely ignored? Where's the view around here? Got Loudridge and Polywag. Oh, there's an item too. Bottle of iron. What does a bottle of iron look like, huh? That's the blue guy over here. Radagon. Ugly ass dragon. Oh, that's just a bigger. Radagon is so ugly. <laughs> Looks like a gusher. Ugly as hell. How could you say that? Okay, Kunk Helder is way uglier, but. <laughs> Alright, we'll check out the view from here, why not? Not ready? Do they know who you are? Apparently not, man. Apparently not. Okay, the view here is looking pretty average as well. I think the Diglett guy got his PC hacked. <laughs> I agree. Master Mustard should be really happy to see how well you get along. Ooh, we're, wait, we're best friends now? Love to see the view of the cave. <laughs> okay, was that all the spots? I thought there was another one. Yeah, there's definitely... Old Loop Lagoon. Should I fly here and then just head to the loop? <laughs> the lagoon? Gotta agree with Hayden. Dreadagon looking like a lost Digimon. <laughs> yes. Wait, is, it, is it this way that I'm... Was it out in the water? Hold on. I'm... Nope, I'm going, I'm going the wrong way. How is this possible? Hello? I don't know how to use maps. 
Take cover the goo lagoon. The goo lagoon. Surprisingly, it is lost again. Okay, but wait. But hold on. There's the Diglett guy. And then... Can't... Do I go this way? We haven't gone this way, have I? Hello, Punny. Trying to get to this fucking lagoon. I went out to the ocean. How do I go this... How do I go this fucking way? This flu... This flies me here. Like a Betamon? What is this? Okay, wait. So I'm here now. And I definitely don't go that way, because that's the way I went. So that means I have to go this way? Thank you for the Evi Light, yeah. Evi Light. Is, it, is this... Is this it? Freak did not have to draw a low punch like that. Uh-oh, it's starting me again. What's this? Hey, there's Diglett. Go right. That was the way I went the first time. But that what? So I, I'm supposed to go this way? What? I need an adult. I only need to this over here. This is, this is it. I think this is it. This is where I like started to go, but then it, on my map I was like farther into the other land. I'm very confused. Come on, bicycle. Don't fail me now, buddy. My man Hayden looking fresh. Thank you, lack of care. The Sharpedos, the Sharpedos have no not, no business being that scary. Are Doug Trios connected underground? <laughs> I would assume so. <laughs> okay. Hello. I would like to see the view here. Um, I'm stuck. Hello. Oh, this is a lady with the twigs. Oh, wait. Wait, fuck. I don't, do I, I don't have eight. He likes low poke, don't you? In case, he might like this shirt, too. Ooh. Oh my god, yes, we got a boat neck sweatshirt. Design of the zoned out Pokemon is perfect for loungewear. Fuck yeah. You give me eight? Um, yeah. Don't have enough. Fuck. I need more twigs, man. I'm doing great, Scotland. How you doing? Okay, so... Ooh! There's a Rotom fan right here. Okay, so wait. I am not in the fucking way. I was going the complete wrong direction. I told you. Everybody's like, yeah, just go just go that way. Go, go straight. What the hell, man? Don't pay attention to map? I'm flying back. Okay, so if that's the way I just went, and it was wrong, I have to go this way. It's 100% lying to you? I am so confused. I'm being serious. We don't need maps where we're going. <laughs> Why do they make it so hard to find this, this fucking goo lagoon? Go back to the Diglett guy and through the cave, maybe? What? What is it? Hey, what the hell are you doing here, lady? When you touch clean, clear, clean sand, it can help cleanse your memories of the toil you've been through. Uh, ooh! Clear all the way of a Pokemon's base points and start with a clean slate. I can help. Nice! You can, um... Get rid of EVs, then? Okay, wait. Please don't make out. Keep going and hang on. Right. Alright. This area reminds me of Minecraft. Ooh. Is this, is this it? Is this Goo Lagoon? A couple of trees in the middle of the ocean? Listen, I'm just trying to show my cub through the world. Please help me. What's up, Chad? Hey, there's a ditto. Um, is there any of them fucking twig things here? I want the twigs. Need shit over here. I'm ho I'm, I'm, I'm shaking it. Two tomato berries. Okay, go past the bracelet lady and hang a right. Bracelet lady? Was that was that the bracelet lady? And hang a right? So she was over there. I'm supposed to go out there? Is that it? Hayden can show you the world. <laughs> How far out here can you go? At some point, does it just... Do you just hit, like, an invisible wall? What is this rock? 
There was a hidden item there, but I didn't even grab it. Map only shows you the area you're in. Area you're in, but not the. Well, what the fuck? This map is horseshit, man. There's no way to get to this area. <laughs> Didn't catch what, emblem. I've gone both directions, and I've ended up on the map in the same spot. What is that cave? You're going the right way before you flew back. What? But how? Just didn't go far enough? Man! Alright. No. Ba -ba -ba -bam -bam. The map is not right. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna fucking fly here one last time. Mark my words. And then I'm supposed to go toward the area that we were the first time. This way. But I didn't go far enough. Go right at the station to hug the wall. Alright. I have a task and I shall complete. The Dutman's treasure. Go past the second island and look right. Second island. Okay, that leads to it. You can swim around the island. Do it also. Okay, so wait, I'm supposed to be hugging the thing. Is it them? Shit, far as hell, bro. Stepping stone C. Is this what I'm looking for? Just looking for a view out here. A more right. Getting close. I can almost taste it. The view better be insane. We'll be on the coast. Oh. This? Oh, this is it. Loop Lagoon. <laughs> Impossible to find. There's a tentacle. What in the fuck was that? Oh. Hey, look at it. It's Palisand. Or the, the, the... What the hell is the first form of that thing's name? Um, something... Sandy Ghast. God damn it. I knew it was like ghastly type of, type of thing. Sandy Ghast. Yes. He is a haunted sandcastle. Honestly, a super cool idea for a Pokemon. In my opinion. Okay, so now... Where's the... Where the views at out here? Y'all got any views? This is the area that they showed a lot in the trailers for this shit. Sandy ass. Hello! I am ready for the view! Alright. Alright. Sandy cheeks. Palace of sand in a literal pile of sand. <laughs> Found the lost leak. Alright, we're now the best friends. Master Mustard should be really happy to see how well you get along. Bring with being with your Pokemon makes everyday scenery feel brighter and more colorful, don't you think? Sure do. Okay, so that's the last thing on the map where we needed to go with our Kubfu. So now can I just fly back to I don't know. It said we're best friends. It said that twice though. But hold up. Ah, well what the heck? I wanted to though. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ah, so many things out here. What is going on in this cave, man? Bunch of toodles. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Found an icy rock. Hmm. Ooh, a water tunnel? Where is this taking me? This is a, this is a very large area. You know, see, this is like the same size as like the wild area. I mean, yeah. Compared to just the normal wild areas, this shit is. Pretty, oh wait, am I right where I needed to go? I think I, I just cycled right to my destination. I was just gonna fly. Hey, there was a freaking Abra. Shout out to Alakazam. Better be taking names. Fields of Honor. Horror. 
He said horror. I read, I read honor. <laughs> Why does he need to literally go to this specific spot to enjoy the scenery? Literally just riding the waves? You know, I don't know. Also, where's my homeboy? Oh, oh. Who would gather that many mumble? What? What you talking about? Serial killer, the classic. Oh, Hayden, just the person I want to see. Tell me, do you collect watts? Sure do. Of course you do. You're such a pro at this, Hayden. I'll have you know that the watt business is positively, positively booming right now around here. Uh, they say those who hold the most watts hold the key to success. I've actually been trying to gather uh, gather up watts to spruce up the dojo a bit, get some gear. My darling hubby and my son are more indoor types, you know? And it's pretty hard for me to collect that many watts amount. Listen, if you want to just, you want to ask me for watts, just do it. This will be a business transaction, of course. I'll reward you for your generosity, whichever... Whenever you have some extra watts, simply come and talk to me. I have a bunch of watts, lady. What are you going to do for me? Mm -mm -mm -mm. This DLC be pretty? It sure does. Okay, you can have um, 10,000. Fuck it. What are you going to give me? With over 5,000 watts, I can afford to have a hairstylist come work here at the dojo, too. <laughs> hairstylist, huh? Katsuna wants me to draw a skitty. <laughs> Making me draw a skitty, huh? You're sending someone right over. What the hell is going on here? I just gave this homegirl my watch. Alright, hold up. We gotta draw a skitty. Casino drew <laughs> redeemed the 2,000, 20,000 chat points. It's gotta be done. Did me last time? <laughs> That's a real pro. True masters always picky about their craft. Okay, to be honest, it was a waste of 10,000 watts. Question the bureaucracy of the island. They seem to be seem to deal in twigs. Primitive. <laughs> we were able to make a deal. Got them sent right over at once. Ooh, look at that. I got a PC now. Uh, thank you for your purchase to get a new Rotimi. Rotimi. I hold on. We gotta get. All right. I must now draw a skitty because we honor the chat points. Gonna be a fun one. Thank you for doing. Thank you for doing a simple one. My drawing abilities. Thank you. Okay, but I need a reference photo because I am bad. All right, switching over to paint real quick. Whoa, oh, that looked weird. All right, <laughs> it's time. Give you a nice plump head there, old skitter. Yes. Beautiful ear. Out of all the Pokemon, Katsuno makes me draw a skitty. You earn chat points by just chatting. <laughs> if you're wondering, you're like, what's going on here? Uh, it's one of my rewards. Is you can make me draw a Pokemon. <laughs> Honestly, pretty beautiful. I'm going to give you a nice little... Some little nubbies. Skitty really do only have three legs. Just kidding, you just can't see the other one. Bada bing, bada boom. If that ain't the best giddy you have ever done seen. Don't forget the, the middle line. I'm making him pissed off. The body. Can't forget the middle line. There you go, Katsuno. I hope that, uh, it's weird because in this one, he's like an owl with his head turned all weird. <laughs> but, um... All right, so we, have it. we hop back in it, and uh, some progress to the team has been made, so that way now we can actually do some shit. So, I want to give a shout out to Sammy. She took care of uh, getting me nice and set up. So we have Shiny Slowpoke is now level 70, along with Cub Fu is level 70 as well. So I believe we're supposed to go into those towers, and you essentially just only use Cub Fu. And whichever one we go into depends on which what it's going to evolve into. I don't really, I don't really know the whole deal, but I do know <laughs> Nelson. All right, what I do know is um, we do want to evolve our boy, which I think is. So we do actually have the correct amount of sticks or whatever the hell you need to evolve the Galarian Slowpoke, which I think is stupid. I don't know why they made it. So that you gotta collect sticks to evolve the damn thing. It's like, why they gotta be so extra with all the evolutions these days? I just don't, I don't get it, but... We are finally about to evolve our shiny 
Galarian Slowpoke. That's amazing. Is that a static shiny, or did you actually get a shiny last stream? Um, we got a shiny. I, I shiny hunted for the Galarian Slowpoke as soon as it got announced. Um, I just bred for it, and I actually got it relatively quickly. Hey, Georgie, with the two months. Thank you very much. If you give me eight gal Galarica, Galarica twigs, I'll weave a Galarica cup for you. Do you want one? Sure. Leave it to me. All right, so we do have eight. And she do be weaving, though. Here it is, freshly made just for you. And we got ourselves a cuff. So we cuffed up now, boys. We be cuffed up. Cuff made from woven together. How do, I don't know how to pronounce this these twigs, but from twigs. Giving it to Glarian Slowpoke makes the Pokemon very happy. Looks very nice on Slowpoke. Well, I'm excited to put this on our boy here. Let's go check it out. Good luck with your homework. Yes, yeah, Sammy. May luck be ever on your side. All right. Um, where is this item going to be? Just there she is. All right. Use this item on Slowpoke. The time has finally come. We get to see what I actually did. Spoiler. Yo, that guy with the 2,000 bits. Let's start this yeah, off right. Absolute lies. legend. My God. Hits me with a big 2,000. Well, this, this Slowpoke is dedicated to you, sir. Thank you, man. Appreciate that, buddy. All right. So finally, Homer Simpson about to evolve. This thing does actually have really cool shiny colors. Like I said, I was spoiled on it. Um, but check this pastel boy out. Paul is looking better than ever. I love it. Not bad. Not bad. All right, so let's take a look at the old dex entry. This thing is looking sick. A shelter bite set off a chemical reaction with the species inside Slowbro's body, causing Slowbro to become a poison type Pokemon. So we're psychic poison. Which, um, which is an interesting... Ooh, we're trying to learn Shell Sidearm. So this is its... This is its, um... Freaking new move. The move inflicts physical or special damage. Whichever will be more effective. This may also poison the target. Target. What? That's actually pretty dope. We're gonna go ahead and forget Acid. That is sick! His skin is so pink he looks naked. <laughs> I remember I had a shiny jump bluff. I know you're thinking, why the fuck would I have a jump bluff? But for some reason, I Masuda hatched a shiny jump bluff at one point in like Gen 4. And uh, shiny jump bluff, I named him Naked. <laughs> Which is pretty funny, but. Hell yeah. We, uh, yes! Look at this guy. Yo, Frantic Scribble with the thousand bits as well. It's my birthday a month from today. So happy early birthday. <laughs> happy my early birthday, everyone. Thank you so much for the thousand bits, man. I'll re I gotta return the favor on the birthday. Shit. What is up, Paul? How you, how you doing, buddy? He's like, my arm fucking hurts a lot more now, but, you know, doing good other than that. Alright, so, um, the thing is, I don't know, I do hate jump off, yes. I don't know which one we should go to. Do I go to the, um, the Tower of Waters or the Tower of Darkness? What should I do? I feel like this one's cooler because it's got, like, crazy-ass stair set going up to it. But let's fly here. Fucking shell bite in my wrist, how are you? <laughs> Mondays, thank you very much for the 20 bits, appreciate you. Also, the flying is just quick as hell. Killers United with the resub, also. Thank you, Killers. Four months. Absolute legend. Lego. He's a very slow, po slow bro themed. Oh my god, he running. He a little slow. He a little slow, but he gonna do his best. He gonna do his best. Brady Keefe with 1,050. Also, holy shit. And I continue, and I continue to simp. <laughs> You can simp for me all day. I'm just kidding. Thanks, Brady. I appreciate you, man. You're always you're always here supporting. Absolute legend. I My God, so many. Spoiled, so I give you this and leave. So many notifications. Thank you, uh, thank you, Luca. Appreciate you. 25 emotes shared. So Brady, we're getting we're getting a lot of emotes from from like the bit support. Also, Paul, where'd you go, buddy? He's too slow. I thought they just teleported to you after some time, but he um he a little slow. He he a little slow. But he'd do his best. Also, oh, there he is. What's up, friend? He's like, Jesus Christ, man. Can't have me doing this. Also, I thought this was a different cave. What the fuck? I am um, not at the right... Wait, is the stair set over this way? I am always lost as hell in this DLC, but I think... I, oh, Drapion. Jesus. Was Drapion... Drapion was already in it, right? For some reason, I feel like it was, but maybe, maybe it wasn't. I did water because fighting dark is an awful typing. I think I'm gonna do. I, I don't know what I want to do. I think maybe we'll just do the fighting. That was a rock rough right there. That's pretty neat. What um? 
Okay, so there's there's the water tower over this way. This is a pretty cool wild area. I agree. I like the uh, I like the swampy swampy area. There's a lot of a lot of cool stuff. Except when this happens, the fuck is that? Hello? I always hit hit the wrong um, button. Oh, it's more pack more pico, more peco. All right, what's up there, little rodent friend? All right, so Slowbro, this is not your matchup, buddy. But uh, we had to bust your shiny ass out anyway. And just kind of, you know, let's go for a shell sidearm and see how much it does. We have ten levels on it. It's gonna go for a thrash. Okay. Paul does not enjoy. He's a little tic tac. He is. A, he is just a pissed off tic tac. All right. Not the coolest animation I've ever seen. Seems like he wants to be petted. My god, now we gotta pet him. So glad I have both games and get both versions of the Yoshifu. Yo, Frantic Scribble with the gift sub. Thank you very much for that. Delibird just handing out gifts. I need to make, um... Dude, how cool would it be if my new, like, sub alerts were... A Galarian Paul coming up, busting out his gun, and just peeing out some acid that then reads out whoever subscribed. That would be cool, but I don't know how to, like find an animator that could do that and also it, yeah I don't know if anybody knows a guy you know I have the idea I've got the idea so I I think we just have to use the cub foo in this place which is interesting so we did try to go in here before but there was a guy no oh, there is still a guy he just teleported out of nowhere you can make it in paint you know what I'll just draw it I'll draw it out myself in paint why not all right so this place be looking kind of cool what do you think Paul Hello, Wildcat. What is happening with your first badge? Hello, Hayden. Master has already sent word. This is the Tower of Waters. Special training ground that only Cubfu can use. If you want to climb the tower, please make sure that Cubfu is the only Pokemon on your team. Oh, well, what the hell, White? Legend is true. After the, all this time, I finally caught Hayden live. Turn, I do actually stream. Turns out, it was not a myth. I do, in fact, stream. <laughs> Which I have been a lot more lately. But welcome, if you're just now catching just now catching me live for the first time, I appreciate you. I think it's now a Venusaur. We could actually check out how that thing looks in its G-Max form also. Dexter's level 69, we gotta definitely box you forever. But time to just bring our only only our level 70 Cub Fu. I don't know if that's over leveled or what. By the way, shout out to G Fuel. Always keep that snow cone on me along with bubblegum <laughs> right on my desk. You can use my code to uh, support and also get a discount. How about that? All right. I only have Cub Fu. This is the Tower of Waters. It's a training ground where Cub Fu will learn the true essence of water. If you raise Cub Fu uh, to at least level 70, its training will go smoothly. Oh. All right. Well, then, yeah. Once you enter the tower, you won't be able to leave until uh, you best five opponents or are defeated yourself. Level 70 makes this a tough challenge? Interesting. Katsunel? Yes. <laughs> Do you wish to forsake the path of darkness and follow with the path of water? Yeah, fuck the path of darkness. Phaseberry is my favorite. That's what actually this hydration fuel I have is Phaseberry. It's in interesting because it doesn't have the caffeine in it, but it still has a bunch of vitamins and stuff in it. Makes it taste good. Makes it taste good. Tried to buy bits, but it won't load. You're banned. I can tell your heart is set. The best of luck to you. All right. I want to try G fuel. Guys, I know if you do it, try watermelon or. Um, like snow cone or just any of the fruity ones I would I would recommend. What's up, buddy? What's, what's fucking going on? Rain falls to become a river and the river will eventually flow into the ocean. Such is the great cycle of water. It will swallow you whole. Hmm. Oh, all right. Oh, all righty then. So, Psyduck? What the fuck? All right, so it's just me and my cub food. We didn't even have a Pokeball. And, uh, all right, so... Should we just bust out of close combat and see what this, this cub food's fucking made of? I used to drink it all the time when I was a cod god. Yeah, see, I drink G Fuel because when I play competitive Pokemon, it makes me have big brain plays. It literally gives you predictions. <laughs> just kidding, but how, how neat would that be? I have swallowed whole... I have been swallowed whole by your great- I thought she said she swallowed my whole, and I'm thinking, what the fuck, lady? Cub Fu a Galarian Cub Chew? Uh, it, is, it is not, just just similar. You know, let's actually, uh, what, what, is it, what are the stats on this thing? And also, what nature did I even get? I forgot. 
So it's working with that clean 154 attack. Honestly, not bad. Not bad. He's gentle, though. Hayden and Big Brain in the same sentence. Hey! Rude. Impressive. You cannot proceed to the second floor. Alright, so I don't know how many floors there are to this place, but I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit difficult. We started off with a Psyduck, though, so I'm, it can't be that bad. <laughs> Can you leave and heal at any point, or what's the deal with that? In a round cup, water becomes round. In a square teapot, it becomes square. Water is adaptable, changing to match the opponent. Prepare to drown in its to its power. Jesus. How long has the stream been going? We've been live for 16 minutes and 45 seconds. Twitch did have an update where it shows by the viewer count how many... Um, how long we've been live. Also, Young Krabby, that's fine. So, I mean, if you do the dark one, I should have done, I should have done the dark one because then I would have fighting moves super effective on everything. Now, instead I'm doing the water, which I guess is a little bit more difficult. Ouch, Krabby. Luckily, nothing's gonna be full, fully evolved. But it should be because they make you, they recommend you be level 70. I don't know. Oh my God, Hayden using his brain? Yes. Occasionally. <laughs> Alright, well, that wasn't too bad. That reminds me so much of Cub Chew. Cub Chew is a gross ass Pokemon, man. He's a frozen snot popsicle. Uh, can you answer the most important question, please? What do you think about the poison type Paul? I fucking love him, man. I think that, uh. I mean, anytime they show love to one of my favorite Pokemon in any form of just making it popular again, I'm about it. I think it's cool. I think it's got potential. Competitively, I don't know, Psychic, um, Psychic Poison is definitely an interesting typing. You said Cub Chew, but you meant Ice Q. No, Cub Chew, wait. Cub Chew is the one with the fucking frozen, yeah. Alright, we got a Meryl here. And do I not want to use my close combats yet? Are you, are you read about Cub Chew? Prepare to get awesome. Prepare to cool, but... Oh my god, I forget that- oh my god, Jesus Christ, I forgot that Meryl is, um, I didn't think it was thinking about camping. This is no time to be thinking about camping, sir, we're just gonna iron head them. Sammy, take a nap. I forget I ever existed. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Can I have a flinch? No, I cannot. Fuck. Cries and no one wants me. We all want you here. What's he talking about? Oh, shit, he got the priority. Am I about to get fucked up by a Meryl? No, I'm not. Kapu ain't taking that. You dead. Thank god that thing wasn't an Azumarill, am I right? Goddamn. Just don't like that they masked Paul's defense stat uh, from 95 to 110. It's a pretty big downgrade. I honestly didn't even know that they did that. What the hell? Why'd they do that to my boy? I guess it kind of makes sense. He doesn't have, like, the protection on his, like, half of his body anymore. It's on his arm still. He's got the shell on his arm. I don't know. Um, Alright, so... Do I even have... What do, I, what do I got in here? Okay, I do... <laughs> I do still have potions from my initial playthrough of this game. I literally have not touched a mart in, uh, I don't even know how long. A long ass time though. But okay. Just gonna head, just gonna keep on, keep on keeping on. We don't really want to close combat because this thing's already pretty frail. Water changes its form and even its name on a whim. Can you contain it? These people love H2O. That's some high quality H2O. Took some from his defenses and added them to his attack stat. Now Slubber has base 100 attack and special attacks. That's pretty nice. I, I dig it. I man needed a little bit of uh, a little bit more offense. Okay, we're just going. We're going to break, break. 68, huh? Jesus Christ! So you really do need to be level at least level 70 for this shit. Paul being a mixed attacker now is really cool. <laughs> Wet monkey nips is here. What's happening? Wet flying lips. That's my boy James. Some of you, some of you might remember James from many moons ago. He has been, he has been featured on my live streams. <laughs> All right, this whirl, whirlpool is stupid. Stop that! Holy shit! RC has been. <laughs> Cat comes through with the 1500 bits. Hello? That fuck, that alert scared the tits out of me. I can't be doing that. Thank you though, Cat. You don't have to do that. You've been subscribed to my Twitch for like 65 months. <laughs> Cat remembers James. What do you think of DLC overall on the fence of buying it since I wasn't keen on the main game? I think it's cool. I think that they it's a little bit lackluster and that they didn't provide too much new shit in terms of Pokemon. There's literally two new Pokemon. There's the, the Slowbro and the Cubfu. 
But I think, I mean, this is only half of it. You gotta, rem you gotta remember that for 30 bucks, you get the two sections, you get the Crown Tundra uh, once that releases. But for here, it's, uh, I mean, even this is a pretty large wild area. So this is like, you can think of as half of it, which I think is worth it. There you are. I figured you'd choose the Tower of Water, so I decided to wait for you here. How did this guy know? Babear. There's a new Azumarill set on Showdown, Random Battle, Sap Sipper, Whirlpool, Toxic Protect, and Parish Song. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that sounds annoying as shit. I saw some people using, so there's the new, there's the new move that's like the, the water U-turn. People using like Wish Vaporeons with it, which is insane. Forgot to add bread to your optimal sandwich. Yeah, one time James was teaching us how to make sandwiches on my stream for whatever reason. He came home drunk. <laughs> Is there a reason you only brought one mod with you? You have, to, you have to only bring your cup food to get in here. Oh my god, this man is scary as hell. Alright, so he's got his own cup food, huh? Okay, well, this is fine. A little foo on foo action, huh? Look at those eyebrows. Jesus. This man cannot be contained. He do be ready, though. Oh, I forgot to heal before this. Fuck. Oops. Does his have Aerial Ace? Get ready to be one shot? I mean, fuck, I have Aerial Ace, but I definitely forgot to heal, so. And I click I click Iron Head to try to flinch it, because Aerial Ace wasn't going to Oko it, right? Come on. Oh, he has Sash? Flinch. Shit! Okay, I'm going to die. <laughs> I think that was my only, my only way of winning was if I got a flinch. What the hell? No more Pokemon that can fight. Alright, well I got fucked by that man's eyebrows. I'm pretty sure the only reason why I lost that was because of the brows. Seems you have stumbled a little on your path. Okay, get, a, get me healed up. Do I need to get some more levels? Or can I just put a sash on mine? <laughs> Freaking rip, man. So, uh, mine was faster, which was good news. Do I have a focus sash up in this bitch? I definitely have one somewhere in my box. Focus sash. Yes. <laughs> Do I have to start the whole thing over now? Oh my god, I have to start the whole thing over. What the hell? I didn't realize what I was getting myself into, man. I thought I was going to click close combat on something and win. But they actually made that a little bit interesting, huh? <laughs> well, let's absolutely fuck up this lady's side duck one more time. That's fine. It was a Nuzlocke, and so I have to release this Cub Fu. And, uh, I'm just kidding. But okay, we kill you with a close combat. We are gonna get another level on this though, so. New item signs make me wanna barf. What? New item signs, what you about? Saw the notification just in time to see the Kung Fu Madness. Yeah, so last night's stream we did uh, kind of a majority of the, of the DLC. But now we're finishing things off. We evolved our Galarian Slowpoke, and we also are finishing off the, the cup food thing. We get to see this thing evolve after I assume too. And a round cup. Okay, yep, he's talking about, you know, water taking the form of its, of its shit. Only 83k away from killing one of your Pokemon. <laughs> Gotta wait for the Nuzlocke streams for those though. Don't think I'll buy this DLC? I mean, I think it's worth it, I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that the, the Crown Tundra is gonna have a little bit more for us just because I mean, they've shown us a lot in terms of legendaries and all that other shit. So, like, being able to unlock all the le legendaries, I think it's going to be worth it. Plus, I just really want the new Reggies and the new freaking, the, the new Burbs. I think the next one's going to make the, yeah. I agree. So the whole Iron Head flinch was kind of a bad idea. Um, considering how I didn't win, I'm going to go ahead and say probably, yeah, that was not a good idea. Can I just walk up? Do I even have to battle these people? <laughs> I mean, the, the, the pathway is literally right there. What's happening, Snolly? Good to see you. I started streaming early again tonight and got just right into it, so people are people are starting to come in. Did you see Hayden's Emerald vids? It was great. If you haven't seen that video, it was a highlight of um, a highlight of just one of the streams I had in my Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. And God damn it, was it just a struggle? Maybe next run when he first gets Pokeballs, I end the run off the bat. <laughs> Well, so I have it set up. Actually, yeah, yeah, you could totally do that. That would be fucked, though. Can't just watch one app. Yeah, but it's like a whole, <laughs> it's like a whole story in itself. 
Or you gotta go back and watch all the VODs of My Emerald Nuzlocke, and then watch that episode. Or just watch all the VODs up until the last episode, and then just watch the, the highlight video instead. Chicka Chow made, edited that video for me, and it's hilariously made. Can I just run up here? I don't want to battle you, sir. Nope. Okay. Fuck. We're gonna hit, it. We're gonna hit him from the back. Such a noob at Twitch. How do you get to the VODs? You can just click on my name, which will take you to like my Twitch channel, and then there's a video section. Never seen someone take an entire stream to get past the first town. Yeah, you know, we talking about Garrett did in that video. <laughs> yeah, Garrett. Um, Garrett definitely, definitely struggled a bit there, huh? That was a hilarious video, though. Luckily, this Polyworld just uses Whirlpool. Remind me to heal before that battle. If I don't heal, I'm gonna be fucked. That whole screen was a riot. Was that? The, that was like the same time when he found that shiny Zigzagoon. That's an interesting one. Interesting. Such a new bit Twitch. Well, if you're if you're new to Twitch, I encourage you. The only thing you can do is hit that follow button and only follow me. It's weird. Twitch made it so you can actually only follow one Pokemon streamer at a time. And it's just best if you use it on me. That's in the montage too. <laughs> Who made that montage? How long did Twitch plays Pokemon take to get to the first town? That's true. The Twitch plays Pokemon probably got through it quicker than Garrett did. <laughs> Which is insane. I mean though, I've, I've definitely had some like two hour streams where I've barely made any progress just dicking around. Should've counted how many times he whited out, but I don't know if I can count that high. <laughs> and that was when Garrett realized that Nuzlocke streams were not for him. Alright. Time for heals. Don't worry, little cub poo. We're not letting you go down easy this time, buddy. Um, you can give me some moo moo milk. He needs some milk before his big fight. Two milks. That calcium up. Get them, them bones nice and strong, buddy. Don't worry. If the Vada's still up, I'm gonna rewatch it and count all the whiteouts. <laughs> Do it. Do it, Lemmy. Alright, buddy, I'm coming for your ass this time. I have a focus sash. Oh, hey, isn't it nice healing outside of battle? It is. What a luxury. In my current Platinum Nuzlocke that I'm doing over here on Twitch, um, I can't heal it outside of battle because my shit's fucked. <clears throat> your final opponent is little old me. Oh, don't worry. I know, eyebrows. I've seen it. Show me what you got, buddy. So he has a focus sash on his, huh? That's interesting. Interesting. I like the dedication. This old man is doing flips and shit? My god. Actually sounds like an interesting self-imposed challenge. But no, it's just a glitch. <laughs> exactly. It is. He definitely does make it a, a nice little challenge. I need to get serious if I aim, aim to take you on. Alright, so... This is why people were saying to keep Barrier Lace on him, and this is why. So, we outspeed. Wait! What? How did that not do half? What the, what the hell? Why is his so much more powerful? What the fuck, man? We need a max damage to kill... Um, my aerial ace didn't even do half. Yes! <laughs> Thank God. Alright. We've done it. Cub Fu. We had a level on it. Probably max EVs. Yeah, true. It's probably EV. We could have we just EV put, like, even just a little bit into attack on mine. But it's fine. This old guy's about to step up and fight you himself. I am afraid of this guy. Look at crazy asshole. Look at his lips. Oh, it's gross. Young folk grow so fast, never cease to amaze me. Get $14,000. I probably have so much money in this game, I haven't done, I mean... Maybe I do, I don't know. I haven't checked anything on this for so long. What a team! Impressive, most impressive. Now can... Are we, are we BFFs now? <laughs> oh yeah. Fuck yeah. Give me some knuckles, buddy. I don't have a lot of money? Oh heck. Oh, he punching. Oh, he going hard. How hard is it to find the max mushrooms? I'm actually not sure. I haven't done anything with the max mushrooms since the um, the initial the initial thing. I know you are worthy of my trust. Aiden. Ordering a sweatshirt right now. You're ordering the Paul the Paul one. You've done very well. 
Very well indeed in raising cub food to this level of strength. Leon was once my best student a long time ago. He too attempted this trial, but he never made it to either tower. We got lost along the way. <laughs> now it's finally time for cub food to evolve. Go and show cub food the scroll of waters. Cub food is ready now. The scroll of waters? Hello? Look at this, buddy. Is there more merch? I just have the I just have the keep it slow hoodie live at the moment. Do you want to show Cub food the scroll of waters and have it evolve? Yes. It'd be cool if you could do both. Like, I want to do the dark one. Oh lord, he doing it. So I actually haven't really even seen like in too much detail what these things even turn into. So this would be this would be interesting. Bye bye. Oh lord, he doing it. This thing is pretty cute. I like him. I ate a bunch of chips before this and I'm, I'm thirsty. Ooh! My man is buff as hell. Alright. So we have Urshi Urshifu. Urshifu. Believe that this Pokemon modeled its fighting style in the flow of a river. Sometimes rapid, sometimes calm. So water fighting is uh, is cool. Polybath's got a buddy. Love to see it. He doesn't look very water type, but, you know. Skipped right past Purity becomes a man. <laughs> So we're trying to learn Surging Strikes. Should an old move? Uh, sure. Water fighting's pretty dope. Alright, Surging Strikes is its, uh, is its move. User, having mastered the water style, strikes the target with a flowing motion three times in a row. This attack always results in a critical hit. Good god. That is unfair. Okay, I think we're just gonna get rid of Aerial Ace, since now... I mean, I guess we don't really need Brick Break either. Brick Break and Close Combat, but fuck Aerial Ace. It's fine. It does look like it would be electric. Punch him with some electric ass or fingers and then you look a little a little electric out there 150 power guaranteed crit guaranteed unless crit immunity which is insane pure be used for losers that's why i haven't done it yet behold before you stands her shifu sure to be unyielding armor that will shatter any blade again turned against it it has mastered the style of water the aqua be aqua hello this thing is scary as shit. I liked you better when you were cute, kind of. You've certainly grown, haven't you? And to think, not long, not too long ago, you would have run and hid behind me the moment you got scared. He's called you. Go beat him up, man. He just called you. He's called you scared. Indeed, no matter how old I get, witnessing someone grow always brings joy to my heart. Why is yours not evolved, sir? So effectively, 112.5 base power is still great, though. Indeed. What's up, Michelle? How's it going? Almost forgot. I give this to anyone who has faced me uh, when I was taking the battle seriously. All right, do we get the master card? Or man's league card, master card. Just gives me his credit card. He's like, go buy some shit. And his wife is honey, <laughs> honey mustard. Best thing ever. I like his little uh, sword and shield thing on his. What is after there? Such talent and strength. Perhaps the time has come. Bam, 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 bam. Damn, mustard, mustard could actually get it. <laughs> what? All right, so now, look who we've got. Jesus Christ, he fast. Never mind, he fast when he wants to be. What's going on over here? What are y'all doing? Berries! Got your fresh picked berries. What do you say, interested in something? Um, no. But wait, unless these are new berries. Wait, what do you got? I didn't even look. Orange berries, cherries, chestos, and patches. Okay, so, um, go back in the dojo. What's popping at the dojo now? I guess we'll head back. I have a fucking bouncer now? I really do. Fuck, it's a ledge here. I'm stuck. Also, the camera angles are all fucked sometimes. <laughs> why'd, they make it, why'd they make that a ledge? Also, I thought that was like, was it just a shovel? Or she was like, wait for me. Can you hop down? Oh lord, he's stuck. He, he's stuck. <laughs> Alright, it's time to... The new Mon could say, I'm the Pokemon trainer now. <laughs> this guy slaps your girl's ass, what are you doing? Okay, we're just bringing Slowbro with us, but I do want to... I do want to absolutely scramble the fuck out of this Chansey's eggs real quick. Hold up. We haven't scrambled egg today, boys. What's up, Terminator? How's it going? Can I ask would you rather... would you rather question? Sure. You sure can. Alright, let's absolutely just destroy this poor little Chansey. Gotta go inside the dojo to do the next part of the quest. Alright. I thought this was it. Yes, sir, I'll have her back by 11. She calls me Daddy now, too. <laughs> Alright, um... 
sparkly bike is so adorable. Okay, so we can actually just we can just fly, huh? Back to the dojo? Wait, that's fields of honor. Would you rather Oh my god. Hello? You can't be asking that shit, sir. Eggs are scrambled successfully. <laughs> Alright. I suggest you get to 75. Uh oh. Ooh, look who is here. Stupid hop. I honestly forgot this man existed. Unpopular opinion, they probably shouldn't have put Pokemon walking behind you if they can't catch up. It just looks awkward. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's only cool if you're, like, standing. What the hell are you doing here, sir? Surprise. Nicely done, Hayden. That's the reaction I was hoping for. I'm here on the Isle of Armor to research more about the Dynamax phenomenon. Uh, I hear that you two are friends. How delightful. Yeah, indeed. Thought this place was good vibes. <laughs> Freaking Hop shows up. What's the fun in mucking about in the mud? I was telling him he should stay here at the dojo. I mean, the load's easier than camping out for a long while. And, uh, yep, indeed. Everyone's welcome to wear out their welcome at the Master Dojo. Don't be shy, my boy. Besides, we're practically family already. And also, how the hell did Mustard get here quicker, man? I flew here. It's true. Lee did train here when we were both kids. I thought this was a Christian Minecraft server. It is indeed. All right, then, Master Mustard. You've twisted my arm. Hope you don't regret it, because I'm staying. You're a little late to the fucking party, buddy. Please, this punch... In gold plate in a gold plated punch bowl? What? The hell? Reminds me, Hayden, I've got something I've been meaning to tell you about Cub Fu. Or really, it's evolution. Truth is, uh, the lovable rascal is capable of gigantamaxing too, but it's a bit tricky because they can't really stand the taste of max mushrooms. So max soup is off the menu unless you can make it more appealing to it. Certain something you can find here on the Isle of Armor though that'll make it even make even Urshifu gobble up a bowl of max soup. Certain something is Certain something, it's actually the friendship along the way. What the fuck? I've forgotten what it is. What? <laughs> Roids. <laughs> what the hell, man? Even more fun to tease than your brother ever. <laughs> Certain something I was thinking of is sure to make Max Soup more palatable to Shifu has something to do with another Pokemon. Oh, think, well, okay, well, what the fuck? Dude? You're on your own, kiddos. The world is your cloister. It's a good crap. God damn. Okay. Is, uh, is how your training usually goes? <laughs> really got no rapid ash in the race, but even I'm pretty curious about what certain something. Okay, well, I think I read something about Urshifu in a book once, too. It's the Wushu Pokemon, right? It said it lives in the mountains, far off region. Pretty amazing, Hop. Thanks for the fun fact. This happened to be all happy to be researching foreign Pokemon lately, is all. But yeah, I think I read that Urshifu is absolutely mad for some kind of sticky honey. Sticky honey, huh? Hayden, honey is made from the nectar of flowers and plants, right? Maybe we need nectar made by some Pokemon that look like flowers and plants. If we're looking for those kinds of Pokemon, I'd reckon there might be lots in the forest. I'll be able to look into Dynamaxing along the way, so count me in for some exploration. The forest past that big marshland, right? But I can still beat you there. Here goes all of my points. Let's see Volcarona, says Mundy. Alright. So how the, where the hell am I supposed to get honey? Alright, we gotta draw a Volcarona, apparently. But what Pokemon am I supposed to catch to what? I'm confused. Special something is actually G Fuel, so I use Hayden's code. <laughs> Alright, hold up. First things first, we gotta draw a Volcarona. Um, which shall be interesting. Let me set this up. Combi? Are there Combis around? Did Cumby make it back? Alright, boys. Paint time! To draw Volcarona. Volk coronavirus. Okay. Alright. This is the easiest one ever. Psych. Give you a nice little eye there, buddy. Volcarona is a cool ass Pokemon. I thought this thing was a legendary when it first came out. I just like it's typing as well. Okay, fuck. So he's got like, kind of messed up the fur a little bit, but we're just gonna, just gonna hit him with one of those, and then this, draw Volcarona with Corona, <laughs> just put a put a face mask on him. Even though I hate moths in person. <laughs> the heck did I just get back for? What? 
All right, Belkarana, you only have one eye showing. That's fine. Fucked up your little, your little horny boys, but his gross little moth hands, and uh, there you have it, people. That is how you draw Volcarona. I'm like, I'm like Steve from Blues Clues, man. Just be straight teaching you guys how to draw. <laughs> Honestly, looking pretty sweet. We gotta give him a mouth. I know he doesn't have one. D1 bound, thank you very much for the two months. How do I like Paul 2.0? I love him. Oh, show it. Okay, that literally takes me forever to find my, my correct scene. <laughs> thank you, it's beautiful. Bob Ross Jr. Imagine that you thing trying to get you to, <laughs> to your lamp. Seriously. Alright, so hold up. Um, where... Where am I supposed to get high? I guess, I guess the Forest of Focus is definitely where. So let's head to the Forest of Focus and go figure out how the hell we can get our... Our karate boy to uh to get Jagat. I almost said Mega Evolve. Can you draw a mimic you with a monocle and a little top hat, please? <laughs> yes I can. Alright, hold up. Hold up though. Let's uh no fuck, we'll do it. We'll do it now. Wildcat is continuing the gift sub they got from Homeless Crackhead. <laughs> Thank you, Cat. Appreciate that. The fifteen hundred bits and the resub. You wild for that. Okay, hold on. Let's open up a new paint. I'm gonna draw a top hat. Hold <laughs> on, Mimikyu. This is gonna be. This is gonna be. It's gonna be great. All right. Switching to paint. And alrighty. So we need to draw his head a little bit, a little bit straighter because. Well, actually, yeah, you know what? I guess we don't. Fuck it. All right, your ear is not not. A little, you got a little hecked up ear, huh? Sorry, buddy. I feel so bad for Mimikyu. He just wants to be loved, man. Poor little guy just wants to be loved. Fuck! That was all one line. I have to redo the whole ear. God damn it, man. <laughs> Extra large ear now. What is it called when you draw in just one line? Contour, contour drawing or something like that? That's what I was trying, That's what I was going for. That was the effect. All right, you got your little shroomish. Honestly, this isn't turning out half bad. He looks like he's got a shroomish on his shit, right? Okay, nice little scribblies for eyes. Gonna even just scribble those bad boys in. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. This is this is beautiful. Okay. <laughs> there is your there is your top hat. Got your like monocle. I don't know the fu the fucking what the hell's the chain on a monocle look like? Chad's here. What's happening, buddy? Like a sir. I'm even gonna put a face on his little thing down there. And he's got his little. Is that why this thing can learn wood hammer? I just realized that his tail is straight up wood. All right. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. By the way. Oh, wrong fucking one. Hello? What's happening? My. My scenes are all, all astray, but I tried to switch, switch it quick. All right, anyways. <laughs> that was a great drawing. Oh my god, there's a Licky Licky. What? Which one is that here? Okay, wait, this one's actually good. Yo, if I had like a tablet, they honestly wouldn't look bad. You ready for your close up? The thick tongue king. Who was saying that I was supposed to be level 75 for this next part? I don't... What am I, what am I getting myself into? What's up, Pop? What's happening, Zesties? We just evolved my cub foo. Now we're going to the forest to look for honey or something? Finally, Hayden, I've been waiting here for you. Can you show the Surging Strikes animation? You know, I actually meant to do that, but we'll definitely do that. Too bad we can't somehow divide up and uh, divide this heat up between us. All right. Anyway, I was checking out this forest to focus place while I was waiting for you to show up. And I saw signs that Logan and Applin live here. Ooh, maybe we can gather a bit of sweet nectar that Urshifu should love from their flowers and fruit. Okay, okay. But am I just supposed to catch some or do I battle them? What's up, little Petalo? Hello? What are you doing, buddy? 
evolves into Lilligant, which is just like the Pokemon we're looking for. Just the Pokemon we're looking for. I'll just talk nonsense, as per usual, right? Doesn't seem that Petalil seems to be acting a bit strange. It, that, that, this, this guy is acting a little strange. Looks a bit lost. Not sad. Is that a weed? I'm calling the police. It's still pretty little. Maybe it got separated from its parents. Oh, poor little guy. Hop is con concerned here. He'd be waddling up. <laughs> what are you glooming onto, mate? You really must be lost if you think I'm your mum. And now I'm stuck. Okay, you gotta help us out here, Hayden. Go find us one of Petalo's parents or something, would you? Look for some worried looking Lilligant. I'll wait here with this little one. I'm afraid I'll step on it if I start walking around. 420, what you smoking? <laughs> Alright, so we're looking for freaking Lilligants now, which are they just gonna be out here in the wild or what what's gonna be going on? Should we Should we test out our signature move on this on this bad boy first? Don't wanna do it on an Amoongus, that's for damn sure. Y'all got any Lilligants around here? Also, can you can get applins from just shaking trees, right? Sucking on my titties like you want me, me calling that. me all the time. <laughs> Thank you for the 69. Um, I don't know how far this goes. I think I feel like the first time we came here, I didn't really explore it like super deeply. Oh, there's a little good. Hey there, buddy. Listen, I have your child back over there. Oh my god, look at <laughs> your Shifu was like frozen in time. What the hell? Hey, what are you doing? What? What's up, Blizzard? Woke up five minutes ago. Uh, we've got your Petalil. Got to bring Lilligant to its baby. Stay close to it, though. Uh, it can separate if you're unsafe. Wants to follow you. Lead it to where Hop and Petalil are waiting. All right. Can I go? Can I go across the bridge, or should I just go back the way I came? I feel like I'm just gonna. You following me, bud? Wah. Oh yeah, he follows. <laughs> Thank you for the way. Hey, look at that Pikachu just walking around. All right, Lilligant. Keep up now, buddy. Keep, keep up. <laughs> is there a way to put away your following Pokemon? I don't know. I don't think there is. You bring the Lilligant back and hop smoking the Petalil. <laughs> Dude's just baked over here. <laughs> An escort mission in Pokemon. A lot of these, um, a lot of these tasks that they make you do are, are kind of nonsense. Like, just, I don't really understand. I guess it's just something to do, though. Definitely new. They've never done anything like that. Oh, okay. I thought I, I thought we lost you there for a second, Lily. Why would you want to put him away? Because he's freaking. He's in. He's in the way. I'm trying to. I'm trying to escort this Lilligant. Just keeps running over my Lilligant. Okay. All right, Hop. I've brought your Lilligant. Finally, Hayden, and you found Lilligant. Yes, I did. Is this the mother or the father? Lilligans can be male, right? I don't know. <laughs> okay, neat. Looks like they're both pretty happy to see each other. Are they gonna give me some honey now? Getting an old man special mushrooms is objectively funny. <laughs> I agree, that's what exactly what I said too. Only female. Oh, well that, okay, that makes sense. Do get some nectar from the old flower. So that's cool. All right, so we have our nectar now. Don't assume that plant's gender gender Hayden. It's 2020. You're right, Scribble. You're right. Nice one, Hayden. Now you've got some Lilligan's nectar. Hopefully, this nectar is sweet and sticky, just like our Shifu likes it. Not as pretty as Mandibuzz, don't you dare. Slurp. Um, definitely wouldn't call it very sticky. It's pretty watery. You need to get something to sticky it up. I don't think this is what you need, mate. At least we did a good deed anyway. Come on, let's give App give Applin's Nectar a try next. Alright, where are the Applin's at? And he just dips out. Did he go into the tree? Didn't realize Lilligan couldn't walk and had to jump around. <laughs> Alright, so where do I find an Applin now? What the hell? I thought that that was going to be... I thought that that was the quest. But apparently not. What is that, what is that sound? What, what, what cry is that? Um, Hop just went and ran off. Is there like a specific spot you can find Applin in the supermarket? 
Is there a specific place where I'm supposed to be finding applins around? Because I haven't seen any. Do I have to shake trees? I don't remember how the fuck you even encounter these damn things. Oh, oh, just kidding. Would you look at that? I just ran right into one. Hello? Hey there, little apple buddy. Applin's a cool ass Pokemon. Cat has returned, yeah, from her long slumber. Hitmonchan wearing high heels? Oh my god, so many dries. <laughs> Alright, Superstition, hold up. Gotta find that Applin. Alright, heck, we gotta go, we gotta get that, wait. It went away, which, which way did it? Oh shit. Okay, he's at the top of the tree, of course. Something wrong with that berry tree? <laughs> Applin clocked you right on the head. <laughs> what? Okay. And he's rolling away. Why couldn't I, why didn't I just grab it? Maybe Applin's nectar on it. He might have given us a slip, but at least we still got what we came for. Applin's nectar sweet enough for a Shifu? It's, you know, like what they say, the proof is in the pudding. Okay. Proof is in the applesauce. What do we got here? Hmm. Don't think you describe it as sticky exactly. It's more like juice or something. Well, damn it. What do we need, bro? Lilligan's nectar wasn't it. Applin's nectar wasn't it. They weren't really sticky enough to be the sticky honey that Ashifu loves. Come to think of it, they aren't really honey at all, are they? I was thinking nectar and honey were the same thing. Hop, you idiot. I was looking for plants and flowers. I was barking up the wrong tree. We need to find the comb bee. Oh, a venipede. Don't see one of those every day. It's cute looking, right? But it can produce a really thick, gooey poison inside its body, making it pretty dangerous. Okay, gooey. Does Urshifu like to eat venipedes? I was stuck on Pokemon that produce nectar, but we really need this Pokemon that uses that sort of nectar to produce something else. Hmm. Alright, alright. Yo, Josh Davenport with a 510. Thank you very much for the, for the bits, friend. Appreciate you. When it comes to Pokemon that collect and store up lots of nectar to make honey, well, the answer is obvious, right? Sheep Pokemon, or Beehive Pokemon. What if I said sheep? Beehive Pokemon has got to be the answer, I'm sure. Okay. Vespiquen is the Beehive Pokemon, right? Uh, I have I have seen one, but not in this game. We're talking about the Isle of Armor. Uh, I think we should find some on the island-shaped, like a honeycomb, over near the big blue tower. Now that we know where we're going, I'm off. All right. What's the one-chip challenge? Oh my god, Cat, you gotta go back and watch um, watch the bot of it. It is, it, it's fucked. All right, so hold up. First of all, we need to draw Hitmonchan in high heels. <laughs> Which is an interesting request. I, um, I wonder how many Pokemon I've drawn at this point. Yo, this Pikachu won't shut the hell up. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this Pikachu's really talking. All right, boys, are you ready for potentially my best drawing to date? All right, so. <laughs> Hitmonchan got a nice weird shaped head. Oop, okay, I fucked that up a little bit, but it's fine. There you go, buddy. Nice face. That looks like something, but I, it looks like fucking Groot. <laughs> okay, and he's got his little, um, little shoulder pads, huh? Yes. Oh, maybe a little bit of bigger, bigger fists. Bony ass arms you got there, though, buddy. Okay, then it's got it's got his other little puncher over here. Okay, didn't drop pupils or anything. You can see now, buddy. You can see. He angry. <laughs> oh lord, he mad. And then uh Humboy do got a pretty sweet skirt though. I'll tell you what. That arm just comes out of nowhere. And then boom. I'm talking skirt. The illest man skirt around. I'm just freestyling this skirt. All right, and uh, we'll just make his both of his legs come out. And uh, okay, wait. So how the fuck am I gonna? I don't know how. I'm confused. Give him some milk. <laughs> um, how should I draw high heels on this thing, man?
there you have it. A Hitmonchan in high heels. <laughs> you can't tell me that doesn't look great. Looks amazing. <laughs> it's not as bad as the um, the mill tank one I had to draw. Okay, but so next order of business is to go to the honeycomb shaped section, which is <laughs> yeah, stick with the the fitting alert. Thank you for that, sir. Okay, let's fly here. We don't talk about the mill tank. I apologize. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Best use of channel points. Yeah, I like it when people tell me to draw specific things about about their request. Okay, do I just go? Do I just go this way? Where the hell's the honeycomb, man? We found out last time that the map in this damn game is essentially useless. But where the hell are the honeycombs? Don't diss Miltam in front of me. Miltam, am I, can someone tell me if I'm going in the right direction? Fantastical Fish, welcome back. How was work? Woody is here as well. Hello, Woody. Um, is this? Oh my god, Mil- Jesus. I said Miltank. That was a- that was a- That was a Sharpedo. Um, the map. Which way? Do I, just, do I just hang hard right? Is it over here? I'm looking for some bees. We're about to go to Bee Island. How's the DLC? Any good? I think it's pretty cool. We've gotten some pretty, some interesting stuff. I happen to have a shiny Valerian Slowbro now, which is neat. Go to Big Tree. That Big Tree? That's the only tree I can find. I just need some damn honey. What do you think about the new Pokemon Snap coming out? I am super stoked about it, man. I loved Pokemon Snap as a kid. That game was amazing. Hayden did it too. Oh, I sure did. My bot of me eating the chip is, is pretty hilarious. He's manlier. I don't know if I'm manlier. I definitely cried. I didn't throw up, though. Hey, Combi. Do I just... Do I just buck this thing up? Look up the prizes? For the Diglets, in case you don't want the final reward. What do you mean? I'm not, I'm not even looking for the Diglets go. No. Okay, should I just heck up this B? Is that what, what am I supposed to do here? Let's, um... Do surging strikes and see what this looks like. Talk to Hobbit the tree. Okay. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna destroy this combi. It's a female, also. It was work, but I had a nice surprise for me when I got home. Got my shirt. Nice! Hell yeah, bro. Okay, here we have Tree. And there's also a TM here. Or TR, whatever the hell they are these days. Pollen Puff. Hey, Gustavo rating with a party of two. Thank you very much, mate. That's a battle music. That means he wants to fucking throw hands. Seen loads of Combi around, but no sign of Vespaquen so far. But they're the ones that have the sticky honey. Yeah, we're looking for Vespaquen, that's right. Borrowed a power spot detector from Sonya, but why is it going off now? Mm. Save the bees. Is it reacting to this tree here? It looks looks like it. Something's got to be up, Hayden. I think we should check it out. $55 for one ship? Yeah. There's a cloying smell of thick, rich honey coming from the top of the tree. Will I shake it? Absolutely. Vespaquen's about to fucking attack me, but that's fine. You kids these days are insane. Listen, it was a right. I had, I got, had to do it. I got a thousand subscribers on Twitch, and I said that if I got a thousand, I would do the one chip challenge. And I did it, and it was awful. What is happening now? Oh, Jesus! They have a super spicy gummy bear. Oh my God, I'm not, I'm never doing it. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, beehive. I hiccup when I eat anything spicy, dude. I got, I got hiccups almost immediately, also, which is weird. Oh, so we do actually have to do a, uh... Do a raid against the Vespaquen. See, they should have given Vespaquen a new form. Why are they gonna make us fight a, a Vespaquen? I mean, it's cool that they brought it back, but it's like... Why didn't you just give it a freaking Galarian form? Or even an evolution again. We could have made Vespaquen... Vespa King. Okay, um... We're just gonna Dynamax and Geyser this thing, I guess. 
I'm really not prepared really not prepared for this with my Rashifu, but it's fine. Vesper Quinn is a cool Pokemon. It's an overlooked underrated I mean it's definitely not not good in any competitive standpoint, but it's a cool Pokemon. I like the idea. There are no King Peaks, just workers. I know, but in Pokemon, you know This is a fictional character game. Got the snatched waist too. <laughs> for real. She already got the fat ass though. Soak her down. Okay. Um, I should have brought a rock type had I known that I was about to get myself into this. What fighting move does Vespa play against? Four times rock weak is a dealing problem, sadly. Yeah, it's really a bummer when a lot of Pokemon are four times weak to rock now. Okay, well we're just gonna We're just we're just gonna geyser it again. Why not? It's raining now, so we'll get a little bit a little bit more to stop flirting with Vespa. Best but Gwen, not Queen, Sally. Did it right. There's the attack order. And bruh, that hurt. Okay, this is not good because my only other Pokemon on my party is, um, is Paul. <laughs> this is how we say not good at all. And also now I'm out of Max Geysers. Fuck. Come on, man. I'm gonna get the defense boost. <laughs> Paul's gonna just get destroyed by this. Are you saying Paul can't do it? I'm not saying he can't do it, but I'm saying he probably can't do it. <laughs> I done fucked up. No one told me I was about to battle a, a massive bee. Well, time to just iron head, huh? I wish you could flinch Dynamax things. Nullified the stat changes. And there's a big old max knuckle. Okay, we're fucked here. This thing has attack boosts and all sorts of stuff. To be honest, I thought the deal. You guys told me the DLC was gonna take me two hours. It's been like four. <laughs> I'm not even, not even done. I'm simping for Vesper Queen. This is why you need the aerial ace. Damn, you're right, actually. Holy shit. I went. I did the water tower. All right, so now we have Slowbro against this thing, uh, which isn't gonna work out too well. They straight up sent the murder horde on me. Thankfully, it didn't go for the attack order, but still, the max knuckles gone. Actually, no, we're fine, we're fine. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I went to the water tower, because I think the water type is cool. All right, Paul, this is not great, buddy. Hey, we got a poison on it. Love to see it. Attack order isn't even super effective. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh yeah, I'm po part poison. <laughs> that is correct. Okay, well, I think it's probably best for me to just go for Surf in the rain, right? Hey, Quick Draw. Quick Draw is an interesting ability. Does that stack with Quick quick Claws? And it had Acrobatics. What the fuck? Now I gotta do this again? Okay, well now... I really like the colors of Paul 2.0. Well, he's that's the shiny one. Someone's got... God damn it. Okay, well... Are gonna choose the water tower also? Would recommend. Gonna be wild if it stacks with Quick Claw. <laughs> I agree. Okay, what could I bring? I have this Excadrill with Rock Slide. We're about to just absolutely body you now. You're done for, Vespiquen. My Kmart Lando T that, uh, <laughs> that Chad gave me is gonna destroy this thing. How'd you get beat by a Vespiquen? Okay, so listen. I wasn't ready. I was not ready. Looking forward to the VOD. Just so damn late here. Gotta sleep. Well, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it, Shadow. You have a good night, my friend. Long live the queen. That's the best. That's how. It is cool that they're at least making it, like, known. Like, I forgot. I, I thought that Pokemon forgot that this freaking thing even existed. So you like jazz? <laughs> Always need to be ready for the queen. So it has it has that max knuckle, but I honestly, I mean, a max rock fall. It's gonna do wonders to this thing. And Jesus Christ, that was loud. All right, trying to came out Lando T. Gonna do it to him. It's a B. What's up, chicka? How's it going? All right, rock fall. Big bird, but big B. Also, I'm never taking off this, uh, 
karate shit I got on. Rocking the man bun? Proud. <laughs> Wish I hadn't left my burrito at Hayden's. I can't believe you didn't finish it. Honestly, I fuck up Chipotle burritos. Too much so. And it almost killed. <laughs> nice. Absolute, absolutely devastating. You know what's devastating was that rock fall damage, my god. I can't believe you've done this. Honestly, I'm surprised if you didn't just completely kill it. Jesus Christ. Sandstorm damage almost did it. But we're gonna have to drop one more flat bowler on your ass. After a long ass day at work. Day at work bothering better than carts and mines. Nothing better than. You live four times effective move from a level 100 Dynamax. What level is that thing? For real. Do I get to catch that thing? Aftershocks of the battle cause a strange comb of honey to fall from above. And we got a comb of max honey. Neat. Honey that Dynamax Vespa Clan produces. Adding this honey to the max soup makes it taste very smooth. It also has the same effect as a max revive. Neat. Why didn't they give that why didn't they give Vespa Clan a G Max form? Why did they just get what the hell? They're the opportunity was there. I was too shocked to even think joining you. But yeah, Hop, what? You're useless, boy. Some seriously sticky honey. I'm sure it's the certain something your chief loves. Seems like uh, the honey was setting off my power spot detector too. Max mushrooms and this honey you can find you can find here on the Isle of Armor. They both seem to have some kind of tie to Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing. Tons we don't know about it, so there's tons of research waiting to be done. Come on, got the thing you were looking for. So let's head back to the dojo at once. We've done it. These we get Megas back for Poke Go. Yeah, they're bringing Megas back to Pokemon Go, but not. To freaking this? Like, what the hell? Okay, so we fly back, uh, we fly back here. Reminder that they removed heal order in a game where Vespa Quinn was still in the decks. <laughs> yeah, what, what's, what's up with that? Oh, this rock rough gun got me. Damn, I forget how blue this thing's eyes are, man. Alright, Kmart Lando. Honestly, I forget that my Pokemon are nicknamed because of the fact that in ranked battles they don't let you use nicknames for whatever the freaking whatever freaking reason. Hoppet's allergic to bees confirmed. Best friend didn't get a new form, but we got lower. <laughs> yeah, that's what we needed. You know, I was just looking for some more lore. Heck, a new form. And we're back, bro. I can rock. I uh, got so many good moves this gen. What did he get? Lycanroc rock needed a little bit of love. Welcome back, my wandering Wooloo. What is uh, what is this sweet scent I detect wafting through the air around you? Must be the max honey that Urshifu loves to the max. We got our hands on a nice haul of it. Did you now already? I had, to, I had to fight off a massive bee the size of a skyscraper for this shit, sir. <laughs> Did a real bang out job finding that max honey with hardly a hint from me. Very nicely done, Hayden, and our little hop too. Our little hop, don't forget for a second what was that certain something was to you? He just wanted us to find it. How should I start it? You like jazz? No, that's no good. Start what? According to all known laws of aviation, there's no way a bee should be able to fly. <laughs> Are you posting bee movie? It's been real, Hayden, but I think you've learned just about everything the Master Dojo has to teach you. Which means that you and I can finally have a proper battle with absolutely no holding back. Could use a bit of training if I'm going to be ready for what's to come, after all. Ooh. I won't be pulling any punches this time, kiddo, if you think you're really ready for me when I'm serious. And come to the battle court out back. Are we ready for this man? I don't know if I'm ready. Can I make my Urshifu G Max? That's what we need. Also, what level is this guy gonna be? Do I need to grind? I don't wanna. Battling the master when he's serious, that's seriously terrifying. His team is in the 70s. Okay, he's the one who taught Lee all he knows, so Mustard's gotta be one wicked strong trainer. Of course he is. Steal your spirits for serious battle, Hayden. Guess I'd get start start getting serious about the research I came here to do too. Do I need to get more of those mushrooms, though? I think we need more of the mushrooms, don't we? Unless, like, I already have some and I can just, like, cruise up. Um, as long as you got both max honey and max mushrooms, that is. Want to give your Pokemon max soup? Yep. Need three clusters of max mushrooms. Yeah, okay. Well, fuck. Go on forest and caves on the Isle of Armor. We gotta go find some more mushrooms. Um, I had three, but I turned my, I made my Intellion do it first. 
I'm supposed to be looking for mushrooms to be able to um, allow my Urshifu to Gigantamax. I was in Brawler's Cave. Oh. Oh, oh there's some. Holy shit. I found him, boys. God damn. Can I, like, fly from the cave? Has, it, has, that, has that flag been there this whole time? Okay, but wait, hold up. We're gonna... We should have enough. I realized I searched through my bag for about 10 minutes and still didn't even find them, but... Yes. Yes, thank God. Alright, Shifu. Paul clearly hogging back there. Just keep teleporting behind me. So far, which is better, this DLC or the Seven Islands? Uh, the Seven Islands wasn't a DLC, was it? Definitely not a DLC. Seven Islands was just like, you get catch, catch a different Pokemon there. This is definitely better. Um, okay, so we want to did you get Diglets for the guy. I sure did not. Okay, hold on. Let's use use some of these bad boys on you. Let's use all nine of these XL candies on him. Eighty-three. This thing is now a beast. Dynamax candy in the mess pocket. Oh, true. I think I, ha I had Dynamax candies, right? A medicine pocket, Jesus Christ. Wait, the Dynamax candies are in the medicine pocket? No, they're not. In the candy pocket, bruh. Hundred and sixteen of these fucking things. The answer is seven islands because it was free and had awesome content. Gotcha. <laughs> True. We do like free. We do like free. If you get all hundred and fifty diglets, the guy gives you a six IV diglet. Interesting. All right. So we have now given our Shifu the soup, and he is now ready. But, um, let's put you in front, buddy. Fuck, we're only bringing four. Should I bring, should I bring some more mods? <laughs> How strong is this man? We'll put six in my party. Why not? Why isn't it letting me... I can't do that in here? What? Once you beat this dude, there's a secret boss you gotta fight. Anyone got a Bulbasaur? I got Bulbasaur. Mid 70s. Fuck. Alright, let's bring level 100 Dracovish for backup. Who else? Where did I put my. Where did I put my Italian? Wait! Bring in Sea King. Can I get a fuck yeah Sea King in the chat? Is it just later than I thought or are you live early? I am live early today. What's happening, B-Rich? That's what I want to hear. Then let's mosey on over to the battleground. I thought he said background for a second. Alright, so we finally get to see what freaking G-Max or Shifu looks like. Which should be interesting. Been thinking more and more these days about how fortunate we were to have you join the dojo. Even if it was by mistake at first. Can't thank you enough, Hayden. It's been a while since I've been so excited. I can feel my blood burning and my heart just dancing with the anticipate. You can feel your blood burning? What the hell? But why? Now then. Let's get things going. This is the most fun time in the world. Most fun time in the world. Says this guy. I think his animation is popping the hat off, though. So. You're not name enough. Mons Kmart, that's prime nuclear material. This is actually a... Uh, Chad gave that to me. 
Alright, so we've got a Mian Shao. How many monsters does he have? It's been a while since I faced such a strong opponent. My blood, blood's boiling over. This man's blood is seriously boiling. I have many K-Mark Pokemon. Alright, so he actually has a team of six. Should I just Dynamax from the start? G-Max Rapid Flow. Let's see it. We're just going right for it. Uh-oh. This says not yet. <laughs> he who Dynamaxes first generally loses. It's fine. What's up, bad guy? He's back. I just really do be out here Dynamax in turn one, bro. Fuck it. Aha! That's why I did it, so he can't flinch me. I predicted his fake out. It's fine. Yo, this thing looks badass. We have 10 levels on that. I'm just kidding. I didn't actually do it because of the fake out, but you know, that works too. <laughs> Next is Corviknight. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. This man's coming at me with some heat now. I see how it is. I see how it is. 74. We are just going to, uh, what is. Uh, I'm sorry, can, ignore, can ignore Max Guard. Oh, shit. That's pretty crazy. Let's go for just a Max Knuckle, though, and attack boost, huh? Can you imagine your Boo not having an Ash Head on? Can you imagine having a crown? <laughs> mm -mm, he's talking about the sub badges. Does hit me with a Brave Bird, so that kind of hurts, but also. Let that be a reminder. Yeah, being able to ignore the max guard is insane. Well, one more max knuckle. And uh, what is he gonna Dynamax? I'm afraid. Does he have his own? He has his, probably has his own one of these damn things, huh? I should have gained my, I should have gained my slow bro. Experience candies also. My slow bro's at 70. That's fine. All right, Luxray is next, huh? All right, this guy's got a dope-ass team. Seeing Luxray back is nice. They should have given Luxray a freaking new form, though. Intimidating is a bummer. It's a big fucking panda thing. Straight up Kung Fu Panda, even though he's not really a panda, but he kind of even looking like it. All right, we're just gonna surging strikes this shit. Still neutral attack. Yeah, we actually have both. Yes. Take that critical hit, sir. Luxray, but no Amphi making. I'm sad. I'm sad. Could have been such an epic Thunder Lion. I agree. I agree. All right, so we get that three them three hits, which is real nice. Didn't quite grow the level. Next is the Lycanroc. Okay. We gave Luxray a ability. We could have given him so much so much cooler shit. Ooh, he's setting up in Stealth Rock. Okay. I see you. I see how you doing it, old man. I like that it looks nothing like a water type. Yeah, I agree. They could have made him like if his if he had like a little bit of blue accents on him, that would have been, been cool. How did that live that? What? The late game stealth cox. You love to see it. It's a waterbender. True? Alright, we need the 84 on that. Slowbro 71, very nice. Levels for everybody, especially Sea King. Had to bring the Sea King with me. Next is the Como, huh? Como, okay. I see you, old man. Hit me with some heat. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just close combat. Oh, we lived it. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, that's not good. Aha! You fool! Been playing some RU on Showdown? How is it with the new with the new DLC mods? Surprised Game Freak didn't put a 20 minute timer on the trainer battles? <laughs> I actually didn't see what he was about to send in. What is it? What you got for me, buddy? Don't want to evolve my Kung Fu, he's so cute. Yeah, what happens if you don't want to evolve it? <laughs> oh, that's his, 
This is our Shifu. All right, so this thing's about to about to get massive on me, and he has the Dark type one, but he is going to obviously show us his. Is it, do they have different G-Max forms? I mean, they look the same, right? Is there any, is there a difference? Okay. Each doll has its own G-Max. Pretty sick. I like it. But our close combat just don't cause it. We absolutely just destroyed this man. <laughs> With the mon that he gave me. I feel bad. Sorry about that, Mustard. Had to body you, though. That was anticlimactic as fuck. <laughs> Just got all big to get out by close combat. Sorry about that, sir. You had $30,000 this time. We balling out of control now. Held absolutely nothing back, and yet you still defeated me. The apprentice surpasses his master. A true moment of pride. Moment of pride. Indeed. Bam, bam, bam. I'm EV training my tornado so I can be OP in raids. Got mustards rarely. Ooh, not only did I get his. He got the, I got the rare one. Ooh, the gang is all here, too. You know, I can't resist seeing you get all serious around. Alright, yep. She's all hot and bothered. Not surprised one bit, Hayden. I knew you'd win. And you were fabulous, too. After this, you're gonna wanna get. Give a bunch of watts to Honey. Give a bunch of watts, huh? Um, Hayden. I, I just, well, I guess I should congratulate you. Oh, she's cool now, huh? What, does he do something with the, um, or honey? Does she do something with the, the like, cramorant thing? I'll take you on fair and square. I don't think I'll lose. You're downright infuriating. You know that? Almost as bad as I am. <laughs> I don't have, definitely don't have that many lots, bro. Let's head back, shall we? Wait, I thought we were just about to battle. What? I thought I was about, I thought I was about to battle Homegirl. Looks 100% like Daisy. Hmm, okay. Proceeds to throw down more toxic spikes before the battle. The end, folks. So if you've been joining me for the YouTube journey, I appreciate you sticking by. And that is the, that is the first section of the DLC. I will be doing the same for... The Crown Tundra. Can't believe you beat the master even when he was Sucking serious. On my titties like you wanted me. I just hit you with one last song. Time. Classic. All right. Oh my God, that guy. <laughs> the best song of all time. Thank you, that guy, for the seven, seven, seven. I don't know if it's worth the money for the DLC so far, but hopefully the Crown Tundra makes it a little bit more worth it. But I still had a good time with it. I think it was it was an interesting time. But yeah. <laughs>